Hello, everybody, and welcome to Armada Skilled. Or today, early morning edition. Yeah, exactly. So, as you can see, we got a brand new overlay that looks, in my opinion, a lot better than the one that I have. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm looking at it right? on the stream right now. It looks so good. <laughs> right? I it was made. Oh. <laughs> um, our, our new overlay was made by Alessa Vamp on Twitter, uh, spelled A-L-E-S-S-A-V-A-M-P-P. -P. It is also linked in our description of um, of both A, this Twitter, and B, of the YouTube when it goes up. So, really morning edition. Some of us have mimosas, and some of us forgot to get champagne yesterday and just have orange juice. Close <laughs> enough. I have chai tea. Oh, that looks right. sick. Right? So good. Right? That looks just amazing. Like, I just want to, I just, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much. This looks yeah. so beautiful. She took our suggestions and what she we got, you know, the feedback. previous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your feedback's not that bad, trust me. <laughs> no, it was just lengthy. <laughs> But I, I very much appreciate her. She's very easy to work with from what we've been able to, you know, from as you can see. And this is beautiful. So I want to say thank you so much. And anyone wants an overlay that's this beautiful, obviously go and find her on Twitter. Again, link in our Twitch. And also when this goes up on, um, well, not link, but her username is in our description below for both Twitch and YouTube. She also does amazing character portraits, and she also is part of a stream here on Twitch. Um, and I will find that out because uh, I'm blanking on the name of it. But yeah, uh, she's she's awesome. So, who wants to tell me what happened last time on Our Modest Guild? Oh, you know? Dahlia got <laughs> ice. Uh, 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 bringing up the worst thing first, huh? It's that's not the bad news. Well, the, the, first thing that happened, ice? the first thing that happened was we we came up with a daggers of soul stealing economy. That, that was fun. Remember the fun we had before our beloved creature died? <laughs> I pinned the rules in chat too, so it's official. <laughs> But yes, then as we were making our way across the lake in order to save as much time as possible while good old Vivian's protection is around us from, uh, from Chad is the bad one, right? <laughs> yeah, Chad. Um, while we were crossing the lake, there was some a slithering underneath of the ice. And uh, it turns out it was uh, Remora's, but you know. It wasn't that big of a remora. This is a large creature. You can take those out pretty easy. Oh, but wait, there's more. And it's uh, Mama Remora came out of the ice and just ate and swallowed up poor old Dahlia, F's in chat, uh, in F's one and bite. Chat. And she had just gotten higher AC, but big remora don't care. Big Mama Remora. She was three Remora's. days away from retirement. She was three days away. I, I told old Dahlia that once we cross this lake and get to those ruins, that it's time for her to retire. Y you know, I did bring up that topic before we left. Yeah. So now we only have Key and Gideon to, uh, to pull the cart. Uh, Gideon is no longer a free bird. Gideon now is one of the designated cart pu or carriage pullers. Um, however, in the... Um, in the fight... No, uh, no, this is past that. So, um, following the fight, after we take a long rest, we came across this um, big old mound of snow, and uncovering it partially, we found it to be a completely flash-frozen hill giant with, like, chunks taken out of it, like something had frozen it and then eaten it, parts of it. Um, and we do go across its belongings, and Mihi finds a ring of spell storing, which is always a boon to uh, resident warlocks with their few spell slots. Uh, and has counterspell in it, and poetically also has fine steed, as Grandpa is currently in the midst of missing his dear traveling companion. There is an option, potentially, uh, to get a new one. And I below also, also important, uh, before the long rest, Cal used one of his three slaps from the slap bet. 
He's got two remaining. Hit me harder, Daddy. <laughs> oh my. Yikes. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's where we left off, unless there's anything I missed from um, the very, very end. But I think that was the last thing that we uh, came across. I believe so. I remember correctly. Didn't we end with a long rest, too? Uh, we did the long rest, and then we uh, investigated the hill giant thing. Yeah. Okay, right, right. Frozen hill giant. So we should be all uh, back to full everythings, if you are not already. Okay. I just got a big bag right. spike. Again, the day is cold. It's kind of sunny it's like a little bit kind of like a cloud cover you know like you know when the sky is like mostly gray but you can see like hints of blue in it it's cold it's about 31 degrees you guys are traveling down the path um your day seems to be going okay so far how far out are we to um where we know the ruins to Is that three days? Three or four. We've been on the road for four days. And, or we've been on... This is the fourth day, and it's seven days. Seven days to get yeah. there? Okay. It puts us... But did we cut some time it, by going across the lake, though? We saved time, I think, technically. Yeah. Um, yeah. The reason it's only have... taking the, um, eight days is because you cut across the lake. Yeah. Oh, the reason it's taking eight days. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it would have taken, like, 11 days. Okay, gotcha. This is the 24th of Akka, right? Uh, it is the I think 23rd of Akka. I thought yesterday was... Like, we just took a long rest. Right? Yeah. We just camped. Yesterday was the 22nd. Okay, I started my calendar. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sweet. I'm on the same page. Um, and how close are we to being off the lake? Oh, we just we're off. Like, okay, yeah, we're off. off. No, okay, that's, yeah, that's we what I thought. The, the hill giant that was frozen. <laughs> yeah, we camped the night and then we traveled for a couple hours. I think in the morning. Um, didn't we camp. do some kind of investigation check to figure out what it could have been? I think we he came up with a couple solutions, but I can't remember what it was. You guys uh, suspected it was either a dragon or a winter wolf. Winter wolf, right? Winter that winter was. The I think we better find some place safe to hole up for the night when we stop. Uh, well, we do have uh, Lithius's hut, if we ever need to be safe during the As we've proven before, though, the hut can't protect us all. The horses. And I don't want anything else to happen to them. Well, I mean, one of them can be resummoned. Potentially. One fit the us, maybe. Quite a bit of room, I think. I usually just go in the hut and fall asleep. I haven't measured out dimensions of the space exactly. Um, I, it can't fit Gideon. Yeah. Gideon's a large oh, creature. No. Oh, okay. Adam. <clears throat> um, on our map, uh, <laughs> is there any towns nearby? No. Not for at least a few days. I'm actually going to look the map real quick so I can see kind of where we are at. You guys keep going. I'm trying to figure out a <laughs> thing. Well, without a place to reside or some form of safety in the town, I guess we simply have to be more alert. We could potentially look for a cave or something. Maybe that's small enough that the hut could potentially block open or block the opening so that inside the cave is safe as well as inside of the the hut. My concern with that is what if the creatures we're hiding from are nocturnal and try to come out of the cave? I mean, that's if they're inside of the cave. We just find an unoccupied cave. How hard could it be? In my experience, many caves are home to creatures. They do uh, the same thing that we're thinking. It's a place to stay for safety. And if they see us approaching on that safety, I'm sure they would not be too 
inclined to sharing it with us. I guess we just go as long as we can, and about an hour before sundown, we figure out where we're going to stay that night and just work with what we have. I think we just need a moment. Say that again? Yeah, Sorry, you cut it, yeah. Out. I think we just need to keep moving at the moment. Yes. Who's driving today? Oh, and you're currently driving. I recommend that I don't sit up front if I'm going to be watching out for any danger. I'm not good at that. I can sit up front. I've uh, got a little project I'd like to work on in the carriage, so I'll be staying in the back. Is there room for three up front? If you um, smush. If, yeah, if you smush real good. Maybe he's small. Okay. So, the mammals up front, the <laughs> reptiles in the back. Oh, just let like go. not approve of this. <laughs> you can also sit, like, on top of the carriage. It's got a solid top. Well, it's rounded, but it is solid. It's not tarp or anything. I don't think she has the acrobatics for that. <laughs> it's a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, nobody wants to leave their books on top of a carriage unattended. True. They'll fall right off. Or you at least drive for a little while, and then they'll fall off the worst. That's fine, I'll stand back then. Glares subtly at Caffriel. <laughs> That's right. Wow! Did you hear that? That's Seagull! Seagull! <laughs> I Last missed him! Yesterday it was that goose, and now the seagull's back! We just what is with to... us in birds? Yes, we seem to attract all sorts of, uh, strange, semi-suspicious like avian creatures. Hey, does Vivine have a favored bird? Maybe Malduin? Sparrows. The sea seagull is a sign from Malduin. Uh, GM, does Malduin have a favored <laughs> bird? I don't think so. <laughs> the there's phoenix, nothing. maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe, if anything. Yeah. Um, there's nothing in, like, scripture or anything yeah. saying that, like, like a favored bird, but, oh, you know. Malduin does not exactly have a favored bird. I mean, he would probably make one from <laughs> metal, I suppose, like I do. Uh, really should make more little seagull figurines. Really fits us. I approve. Um, so Sorry, while uh, the group is going along, I'd like to uh, use my channel divinity to make um, like a trap door slot, the back of the carriage that has like an opening door on the outside. So you open the trap door sliding in here in the carriage. You can put like ball bearings or cow traps or cow traps. And then in the back part, you can open it out to like drop them behind the carriage. So it's okay. like a box. It's like a box with an opening inside and opening on the outside that folds down. Okay, so it's okay. So if, if I'm picturing it properly, there's like by the back, by the door, yep, the back of the carriage, there's a trap door on the inside. Yeah, which is sliding so you, you can, can open and close yeah, it. Yeah, so you can open and close it to put ball bearings or something inside and close it. And on the outside, there's a spring attached to a little flap that you, oh, that you can open yep. and it lets loose the stuff. Exactly. Inside. So okay. from being faced, I can put stuff in there, open it, and send things out to the people. Us. I'm assuming that the inside of this is like a little ramp, so that way it doesn't yeah. just like sit there. Yeah, like, exactly. Ramp, so that way, ah, <laughs> like, oh. open. Triple, triple, yeah, triple. Uh, <laughs> angled downwards. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll use uh, however many iron ingots I need from my pile inside the carriage. Um, do you want ball bearings to be crafted like just automatically, or do you just want? No, I've, I've got some ball bearings, cow traps already, so. Let's say it takes two, two ingots. To two ingots, that's it? It's not, it's not a complicated thing to do. I know, but I'm just thinking the amount of iron ingots to make, like, a box. Let's like... Then three, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, he lays those out and uh, starts to uh, channel divinity, calling upon some assistance from his god uh, to shape and further enhance the carriage uh, to the designs of his that uh, he can see in the forefront of his mind. Okay. 
And that takes about an hour, so. Yeah, so after the hour, it is complete. All right, Olyphius, Mihi, uh, since you're in the back with me, I'd like to instruct you on the functionality of this. And he'll just kind of demonstrate the little slidey door. Uh, he'll load it up with, um, how many caltrops do I have? With 139 caltrops, or however many fit in a box. Um, so, like, let's say 50 caltrops, I guess, to fit in this box. And then mm -hmm. he'll, like, point out the little mechanism to Olyphius and Mihi. Seems pretty so, straightforward. I think we use this if we're being followed. Yep. Uh, if we're ever in a, some kind of base scenario and uh, bandits or some horses following behind us, uh, this will definitely slow them down a bit. Just trying to make this carriage a little bit more um, battle-ready, I suppose, since, well, we seem to be coming across more and more creatures on this particular stretch of land, uh, more than just your uh, random bandits. But... So, are you expecting them to be, like, on horseback? On... I mean, really, we never know. It's it's whatever... If we are still in the carriage and being chased by something, that's kind of the idea. It won't help against wheels, but it'll help against the things pulling them. Exactly, that's my thought. Uh, unless they have some sort of strange, automatically moving carriage, but that's just silly. That's ridiculous. Why would... who would do that? I'm not Sounds sure. like dark sorcery. It would take a lot of magic, I think, to have a self-propelling carriage. Which, I mean, that's far, far, uh, uh, probably forbidden magics, to be honest. I don't know, maybe that's a new business idea. Grandpa, Arvind I'm sure that... Sassima sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that someone like you could, uh, could come up with something that in ingenious. Oh, I don't know, that seems, uh, very... Uh, involved. Uh, a lot of moving parts, I'm... Not what quite else? that smart. Olyphius would be the one, I think, who would really understand that kind of... He's a very smart boy. I don't understand mechanics such as that. I just understand chanting of dark tongues and <laughs> suddenly shooting of spells. Mickey, like, looks at you with, like, a serious expression and is like, Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand the, the this completely. Gnomes, from what we saw, I could see them building such a thing if they didn't hate magic so much. Oh, yes, but they are uh, not the biggest fans. I think that's honestly impeding some of their progress. If they mixed all of their uh, brain power that works with all these machines and whatnot that they have, mixed that with magic, knows what they make. Well, politics aside. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, of course. Anyway, uh, Caltrops little box, the shoot, it, it, that's how it do. Is this the only thing you're looking to make with? Oh, oh no, I have some plans. So, if we're going into battle with this wagon, do we call carriage. it a... Okay, a battle carriage. It's, do we call it a battle carriage now, or...? Oh, well, really, we will have to find a better name. Uh, I think battle carriage plain taste. The war wagon. No, something that has to do with uh, the the aesthetic of it all. Like the like the trampling tortoise or um the uh, shell shock, uh, something along those lines. Really getting into the vibe of the actual carriage itself, you know, something impressive. Can we start installing the uh, the heated seats now? Uh, that's a living thing. I need time. <laughs> Stop I'm all other enchantments. We gotta work on these heated seats. Mm -hmm. I know Caffrey's working on getting a scythe, but we need to stop that right now and work on heated carriage seats. Well, we need the sites and mind flares before she can get hers anyway. We have a plethora of ice materials, though. If anybody wants a frosty dagger or something. I think frosty <laughs> seats are a little bit counterintuitive. I, that's talking about for weapons. For Besides, what if it's too hot? 
for a fire enchantment, I am assuming we need like the heart of a red dragon or something. Who said so anything about seeds. fire? <laughs> no, we're just talking about warmth, not some fire. Toasty buns. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just I mean, enchanting it with prestidigitation. I thought that's all that we needed. It's it would be permanency, though. Permanent, yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure what permanency uh, is required in 5e. If only who had gotten some of the blood of the Remoras. If only. If only. Yeah. If only, if only. We got a lot of stuff from the episode. You know, you didn't carve anything out of the Remoras. Really? I thought we got, we no. got the, uh, the throat. Oh, nope. really? Oh, yeah, you're the, right. The ice was melting. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. why. That's right. Yep, we didn't right. get the carves. We only got the hunting reward at the end. We didn't get anything good. <laughs> <laughs> no gems, no nothing. We're terrible hunters. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter lately. It's okay. <clears throat> Onward! <clears throat> okay, yeah, so your day goes by uneventful. Okay. So when we eventually come to a stop, uh, Lithius will start the process of... Um, Getting the hut up. Um, again, I don't recommend that I take a uh, a watch. I'm rather distracted whenever I'm on watch. I feel like every single time, every single time I'm on watch, something happens. Take third watch. I'll take um, whichever watch people I'll want me to. Take a watch as well. Uh, Grandpa doesn't have dark vision, so he should go first, and then Cal. Do we need four? Or do we need three? I think we usually do three, right? Do three? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Okay, so Grandpa go first because you don't have dark vision, Grandpa. Then me, he. Yeah, I'll take sure. up the last watch. Yes, sir, Cal, sir. I'll make sure to get the watch. Oh God. What? What? Uh, you guys wouldn't get it. I guess that's the only. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it was. I was about to do a. Um, yeah. <laughs> a military joke. All right. So first watch. Grandpa, roll me a perception check. All righty. Can I give myself guidance? Sure. Let me see. Why not? Perception. Oh, where do we camp? Like, do we, is there, like, before we actually set up camp, is there a way that we can, like, see if there's any caves or something that we could block off or any, like, safer place to rest rather than just, like, meh, here's good. Um, roll a, roll an investigation. Uh, 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 yes, me, yes, me, go, Caffrey, go. <laughs> <laughs> huh, I don't know why, but she really wants to investigate right now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That one, chat. Yeah. That one. First, so, first for roll the, of the new build. For the for those of you who don't know, um, Blood Hunter 2020 came out. Um, Matt Mercer reworked Blood Hunter, and I was and he was like putting it up for like the first like week or two for uh, relief for like Australia, the virus there. And I was like immediately, I bought it. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, he, he rolled a nat 20 on his perception right? uh, and so I, I immediately bought it and the new uh saving throws um are dex and intelligence and your new casting ability instead of wisdom it's intelligence so i switched her intelligence and wisdom scores so now she has very high intelligence 
And I was like, oh, I'm going to change my skills around uh, too. So I picked investigation and I'm trained in investigation on top of having a 17 in intelligence. And I was like, I've got investigation now. And right. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> and I did my perception for the night, and I got a net twenty. So <laughs> a total of twenty five with yeah, guidance. Yeah, total of twenty five with guidance. I Damn. see all. <laughs> so I'm not finding a cave. Trap on off. extra amounts of watch, watching for more monster bullshit that ate his his poor donkey. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So not finding a cave, you guys. Uh, park basically right really close to kind of like an outcropping, but it's not like perfect, you know? It's like, a, it's good enough. Um, so, Grandpa, you're watching, looking around. Um, you see something off in the distance. You can't quite make out what it is. It's like a, like a, silu a silhouette of anything, or like light coming from it, or? It, it's definitely a silhouette, but like, you can't... <sighs> It's too blobbish. Like it can't. Like it doesn't look like the thing itself is a blob, but it's so distant. It's you can't quite yeah. make out like features. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And that's all that happens for my watch then. Yeah, everything else seems fine. Um, I'll go over to I think. Alice taking the second watch. Third? Okay, then uh, throw it over to me. He. Shake her awake. Mm -hmm. hey. uh, sorry. I mean, it's your your time for watch. Okay. Did um, you see anything? Yes, there's something uh, very, very far out. I don't think it's going to be an issue for us. Uh, kind of a large shape. Moving very slowly. Uh, but as I said, very far away, I'd quite see if it was coming in our direction or if it was just moving on its way but I mean with what we saw to that hill that attacked Eta Hill Giant or at least parts of it careful okay right let's hope that it's not another white dragon <laughs> or a squirrel posing as a white dragon and he what are the odds pap on the head and he uh, goes over to sleep Mihi approves of head pads he takes Mihi's spot because it's warm already or it's cold because she doesn't have a pulse. Because she's a book. Oh, she's a book. Mm. You guys have you guys have brainwashed me to think that my character is a book. How could you? Because it's true. <laughs> and so my watch begins. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Not that much. Um, you couldn't really see the blob at first, but like you know, the more you look at it. The more like, oh, I, I see it now. Okay. That's really it. Okay. It's not like moving. It's not doing anything. Not that you can tell. <laughs> it's just standing there. Menacingly. Menacingly. I'm going to wake up cow. Rise and shine. <laughs> <laughs> Yawn theatrically like a harlot. And wake up. <laughs> God. Good morning to you too. Good morning, Mihi. That was not. That was like Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. That was rough. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, man. Morning, Mihi. Um, morning. There was a big blobby something out there that was moving, according to Grandpa. But now it's just. Watching us, I think, and just standing there. It's Sorry. really far off, though, so we should be okay. You're not um, doing anything tonight, are you? You know, I had a couple plans with Graham. We were gonna go out, see the town. Um, mm -hmm. No, I have no. No, plans. I was just wondering because the night after I went to Avalon, you slept out. Well, said you were going to sleep out in the cold, then you didn't, and then. Well, did for like, and I know you were lying the morning in the tavern, so I was just lying. Not I, I do not lie. Maybe hiding something. I just said that I needed to do some research, and that was the truth. I came back with more information on Madness and the Churning Heights, mm -hmm. and uh... and where did you go to do this research? Um. 
I've gained access to a library of sorts with Grimm. Um, just the ability to access information that neither of us necessarily know about. Um, not quite sure I understand it just yet. I'm going to try and do some more research on it carefully um, before I'm really ready to talk about it more. <coughs> as long I as hope that's a, not a problem, is it? No, it's just wondering. Don't, don't worry, it's absolutely perfectly safe. Smash cut back to running for my life from the thing. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely 100% safe. Just wondering. Enjoy the rest of your I, night. I appreciate your concern. Have you thought about what I talked to you about? That's very bold of you to assume I think about anything. It's very bold of you to try to pretend that you don't. Miki will go to bed too in the one drive. <laughs> I roll away across the tent. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will put on my armor and then take the watch. Yeah. And I will roll my perception check. I'm assuming that I need to roll. Yeah. 16. Alright. <clears throat> um, you you kind of like looking around every once in a while. You're looking like at the area that me, he... Uh, said that the blob is, and you can see it, and you kind of look away, and you're kind of looking around. It's kind of like keeping an eye on one spot for a while just to make sure nothing's coming. Mm -hmm. And then you look over, and like the blob's a little bigger, and you're like, huh. And you look over like somewhere else to make sure there's nothing creeping up on you guys. Even like turn around and watch like the walls. You turn around, and you see the thing is bigger. How, like, how fast is it moving? It looks like it's like like a rushed walk. Like it's not like running, but it definitely looks like it's like a rushed walk. Faster than like a migratory animal would move? Yeah. Is this... I don't think with a 16 I could tell if it's a giant or not. Um, not, at, not at that distance not, yet. It's, so it's still pretty far off? Yeah, it does look like it's getting closer and closer to you guys, though. How far but like, away? Like how? It's based based like, off of like kind of seeing it every once in a while and looking at it. it. Looks like it's still like maybe an hour or two away from you guys. How far into my watch am I? Um, I'd say about an hour. Into about an hour, watch. so I still have another hour and a half of my watch. Yeah, and it might get here before then. Um. I'm going to wait 30 minutes and see if it maybe teeters off in another direction or if it picks up speed, if it slows down, and see what happens. Um, after watching for a little bit, it looks like it kind of like, it looks like it starts to kind of diagonal, like mm -hmm. still towards you, but like not quite for like maybe half hour. And like right when you get that, like, oh, maybe just wandering around and all of a sudden you see like it stop. Mm -hmm. You see, like, a slight movement, and then you watch as it starts coming towards you, guys. Is it moving like a hunter? Like, does it look... Um, does it moving like it's searching for insight at disadvantage. Because it's far away. Yeah. Eight. Hard to tell. You, have, you don't really know. Like, it, it doesn't... But it's definitely not it that... It could be. Okay. And it's definitely not the goblin horde that we saw. It's definitely not the goblin horde. It definitely. looks like it's a something big. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. How? Let me look at find steed to see if this will work. Which I don't have prepared anymore, so now I have to find steed. Da, 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 da. Well, while the steed within one mile of you, you can communicate with each other telepathically. 
I will step out of the hut and I will kind of like telepathically communicate to um, Gideon mm -hmm. and is it within a mile I guess um yeah it's definitely within a so mile definitely within a mile um I will talk with him kind of point it out and I will send him off to investigate and maybe serve as a distraction and hopefully survive yeah. <laughs> but we'll see if this works um so Gideon starts kind of rushing that direction mm -hmm. Um, after a little while, you hear, you, you hear, you hear a response back, like something talking back to you. Mm -hmm. You basically hear like, oh God, oh God, it's big. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> like, okay. like, oh God. <laughs> um, I will wake everybody up. Hey, what's going on? Uh, the blob that you found has gotten closer, and I... There's a blob? There's a blob. Well, um, did Gideon give me, like, a sense of, is it just <laughs> what it is? Because I, I, he's... Nah, he's too busy. I don't want to... He needs to... <laughs> um, but, okay. Yes, it, it was getting closer, and it might be looking for us. Uh, just tracking us. We should get a move on. How close is it? Probably about a, maybe 15, 30 minutes. Depending on how long it takes to, if it gets bored chasing after Gideon or not. That's concerning. That is quite concerning. I will start um, tying Key up to the uh, cart and like... Is Gideon still out there? Yes. Shouldn't, should we call him back? Well, if we call we him back, move. it will lead him to... It will lead whatever this creature is to us. And if it's the thing that killed the frost giant, uh, feedback, really bad feedback. Tara. Tara. Huh. What? I think it might be using both mics or something. I don't know. It shouldn't be. It's I'm whenever you talk nice. to hear feedback. Um... If I call him back, he will just lead us to us. And if it's the thing that just flash fla flash froze a giant, that's not something that I want to readily tangle with, and will would rather yes, avoid. Yes, probably. If... Good Cal, idea. you hear? Here, oh god, it's throwing things at me! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> it might be a giant. Actually, it's throwing things at him currently. Does he? No, because I can't see through his eyes. His intelligence is a six, but I don't think that he knows what it is. I would. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'll. I will tell him to. Um, how far? Like, is he half a mile away from us? Yeah, about there, I'd say. About half a mile away. Um. Oh. I will tell him to. Go about another because I lose contact with him outside of a mile, but it doesn't mm. say anything about not following commands outside of that. So if I tell him to um, run a mile diagonally away from us and then try and like cut back into reception range, mm -hmm. that would that would work. Okay. But so I'm asking, you, does that? Yeah. Okay. I mean. To your knowledge, it should. Okay. So you communicate that to him, and he goes, "Okay, I'll," and then it cuts off. Oof, that is unfortunate. Um, <laughs> uh, well, we should get a move on because it's no longer distracted. Can we even pull the cart with only one horse? Yeah, we were, they were pulling with just old Dahlia when we first met them. Okay. And uh, can Great you have your horse to, describe the it? The carriage was a cart at that point, though. Yeah, it's now much bigger. Yeah. yeah. Could you have uh, your horse describe it the so maybe is, I can try to figure out? The contact is gone. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, let's go. Is it is it going to be too big? Well, because I hadn't prepared my spells for the nude. Nah, uh, I wouldn't have prepared it. Is this is the carriage too big to pull without with just one horse? It wouldn't be too He's big to going pull, slow. but it yeah, it's going to be much slower. Ditch the iron ingots. <laughs> that's that's oh, loading you. down the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you're, um, you're right, but how dare you? <laughs> I don't know if that'll actually mechanically make a difference. It was just the first got, thing that came to mind. the highest perception now? Uh, Probably grandpa, I would pro assume. No, I don't think so, because I'm not trained in perception. I've got three. Yeah, I've got three as well. So what have you guys... It's definitely I'm not I'm trained me. in perception. Oh, oh yeah. So it might be. Oh, there you go. Uh, do you want me to roll? Yeah, what's your um, bonus to it? It, well... Oh my god, you are I... still the highest perception person. Hey! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I, well... I'm gonna give you guidance, Caffrail. Here. Okay. Um, so... Reception. I just want to go grab coffee real quick. Plus, oh, I thought that was a one again. <laughs> plus. Eight. Well. Hello? No. It's still really it's still loud. Really loud, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm working on it. Um, <clears throat> you can tell it's getting closer, and it looks humanoid. It getting closer and I think it's humanoid you suddenly you guys hear some like kind of like a loud like noise as if like someone's yelling something off into the distance but you can't quite make out what it is so we get into the wagon and we go yeah yes I think we should start moving mm -hmm. Can I recognize the language that the yelling is in, or...? Um... You cannot. Hold on. I'm gonna look at everyone's stuff. Nope. 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 Hey. I doubt we know the language if I am nope. thinking what it is. Yeah. None of you know the language. Well, that's unfortunate. Hate to see it happen. Well, um, I'm going to get up onto the uh, one of the seats of the driver's part of the carriage, and uh, once Key is set up to go, after Cal's you know, set him up, we'll start going. Mm -hmm. Trying to make a wide berth around the thing heading towards us. Is there By any the time... way I can Sorry. help with that? Adam? Uh, um, help in what, in like what way? Uh, just help speed things along so that we uh, take as little time as possible. I'm assuming everyone's rushing. I'm, I'm not really okay. assuming that you know, we're Fair running enough. around. Uh, by the time you all get everything set up, packed up, you know, all the key attached to the car and ready to go. Um, it's much, much closer now. You guys can actually start making out little details. Oh, wow. um, you can see this really big, rotund, uh, basically a giant <clears throat> running at you guys with like his hands like waving around like like this as he's running towards you guys. And you basically are like, Ooh! Can I As he's rushing towards you. Can insight? You insight? That's not, you don't... Uh, yeah. Um. I, I would like to roll insight. Yeah. Yeah, you can roll insight if you wish. It's only an eight. Was this, is this in the middle of the night, or is this early, early morning? That's also an eight. This is early in the morning. Okay. So we are both scary. very tired. You guys see a really big thing Rip. rushing and nope. me, he died. There we go. Uh, you guys basically see a, a really big thing rushing at you guys. You're like, mm, I don't really want to mess with that right now. I'm still a little too tired for this. Me, he is, well, that's unfortunate because there goes my plan. <laughs> oh boy, that's, uh, that's a big one. Uh, da, da, da. So I start like um, at the reins, like come on, Keith. <laughs> Adam, how how tall would you say, like feet wide, wise? Oh, probably like maybe like twenty twenty five feet tall. So probably one of the biggest things that Olympus has seen. 
Yeah, this thing is bigger than that thing you saw the other night. The one frozen? Or bigger than their Mores? Uh, bigger than the the thing that only... only The monster that... Olyphia, yeah, only oh, okay. Olyphius and Caffer can see. It's bigger than oh, that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And is it bigger than the frozen one that was in the chunk of ice? Uh, no, it's about the same size. Same size? Uh, can, Obviously, maybe. A little different okay? based off of... You sound yes. better now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, um... Have we done any checks to see what it is yet? It seems to be a hill giant. It's large, rotund giant is what we were found out. Um, Just waving its hands. Yeah, so you, probably, you probably missed. He was running towards you yeah, guys, sorry. waving his arms like this, and going, Okay, I would like to cast tongues. Okay. Um, he is going to pull out her book um, and talk about this ancient tower where all these different languages mix together, and like a little tower will like, pop out of the book in ink, and then it will dissipate in energy and go into her mouth and she'll suddenly speak every single language. What is it? That works like? on people around you too, right? Does it? I don't yeah, think so. I, I think it does. I think you only cast on yourself, to my knowledge. Spell grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. And if you speak and any creature that understands at least one language can hear and understand what you're saying. It's a range of touch. And she touched herself. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I, I mean, if you want to get weird about it, yes. <laughs> So you basically you like you hear Kulu Kulu hey I need some help can you help me I'm looking for someone Hey stop stop the cart he wants help he's not he's not angry he's just looking for help Uh and Here, I'll, let me... yeah, I'll pull the reins You said he's looking oh. for somebody that is unfortunate <laughs> I do not want to be the one to tell him this I will, and she'll, like, step <laughs> off the back of the carriage, like, the second that it's done. Uh, you know? uh, okay, well, she's gone. I'll Cass follow. Yeah. Gonna follow me. Yeah, we'll follow yes, me. Yes, we can oh. so, like, so, yeah, so as you are casually kind of walking towards him, he finally gets up, and, like, like he looked big off in the distance, and he gets close, and he's, like, you have to look, ah, uh, like, to talk to him. Me, he looks excited and unafraid. Mm. And he, like, kind of, like, stops. He kind of, like, he like kind of huddles over a little bit, like, oh, oh, oh. that's okay. Rest. Oh. You have help now. He like sits down, like when you guys feel like the the, the earth like shake. Then we do you. the Star Trek. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to the left and to the right. All right. <laughs> I uh, Grandpa will stay by Key and kind of trying to keep uh, him a little bit. Caffriel's like right up there with Mihi, like, what is happening? Yeah, we're with <laughs> okay, and Mihi. now what's your name? Oh, my name is Boulder. Boulder, pleasure to meet you. My name is Mihi, and my oh. companions are from, uh, we're from Dragon's Melody, an adventuring group of sorts. Uh, this is Caffriel. Caffriel, wave. Um, and did anybody else come with us, or are they all by the cart? Uh, Grandpa's by the, yeah, Grandpa's by the cart, keeping key. Cal came with you. Um, and what, like, what mountain range are we in, just for the note? Because I, I need to know where we are. Um, you guys are basically, like, riding alongside the mountain. Like, you're not, like, super up like, against it. What's the it, name but, like, of the mountain range? Um, uh, uh, Wishbone Mountain. Okay. I just need to make give a note. Um, it's public so that people can edit it, so how about it? Um, okay, uh, so that's Caffrell, that's Cal Zarel, that's Olympias, and way in the back there is Grandpa with Key. Oh, Grandpa's big! Uh, no, that's, a giant that, that's the cart. Oh. <laughs> um, he's riding in the cart. Oh! I'm not oh, I, okay, I'm with the horse. I see now. But he is okay. quite tall. Well, everyone's tall compared to me, but... You know, a little teeny thing. Well, yes. so are you, and you. Like, as he's pointing to, like, Caffrell and Cal. They don't understand any of this. They just yeah, see they just pointing, pointing. And pointing. <laughs> He's like, Kulo, ko! Kulo! Kulo! It's like... Probably saying that word. Very, very <laughs> nice looking people, and that he's not going to eat us, yes, and that he's that's sorry. Exactly what he's saying. Sorry he's for saying you're killing very my nice horse. Looking. So, how can we help you, Mr. Boulder? Oh, I've 
My brother went missing three days ago. I've been looking for him. Um. Okay. All right. Can you describe your brother? <laughs> well, he's big. Um, as big as you, or, t- or small? Yeah. Is yeah, he he's big. One? He's got like scruffy hair that like goes around his head. Like that. we make fun of him, say he looks like little monkey, but big. Interesting. Okay. Um, does he look at? Does the, like that description remind me at all of the frozen hill giant? No. Okay. He has okay. these pet wolf thingies that like make things cold. Okay. I don't. Do you, have you seen them? They've been traveling around Boulder. for a little while. Yes, Boulder. Like, she'll, like, walk up. Like, he's still on the ground, right? He's still, like, laying down. Yeah, he's, he's not laying down. He's, like, yeah. sitting. Yeah. Um, she'll, like, go up and either, like, put her arm, like, on his, like, ankle or his, like, finger or whatever. Just any, like, accessible. His, things. like, his toe is, like, bigger than your hand can even, like. Right, right. She'll put <laughs> her hand on his toe and Boulder, um... Has, was he potentially around a little ways to the south from us, um, just before the lake? Is that an area, or just after the lake? Is that a place that he likes to go? That's where they go and hunt yeti sometimes. Okay, um, I have some unfortunate use for you, Mr. Boulder. Um, we did pass a recently passed hill giant about a day's travel ago. Um, he was frozen. And seem to be not alive anymore. No, that's that's not possible. I know. My I brother know. is the strongest one I know. Yes, I'm sure he is, but it seems like maybe he was frozen um, by some creature. Maybe his uh, he was also slightly not on by wolves, so maybe his pack turned against him. But he has the stick. That he uses that the wolves will listen to him. And, you know, he has to hit them sometimes with the stick. But it works, and they stop being, um, bitey, and okay. they'll listen to him. Right, um, she'll, like, When turn he around. hits them with the stick. She'll, like, keep her hand on him, but, like, turn around to everybody else. Um... Did we find, like, a broken stick on that hill giant corpse a while back? Sounds somewhat familiar. Uh, I, oh, I'm not there, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm pretty I sure we did not. Did, hmm. Do not remember anything about a stick. Uh, Olypheus might know something. I know Olypheus found something. Hmm. Olypheus uh, found the, the pouch that had the... Yeah, the pouch that had yeah. the ring of spell oh, storing in it. Right. Mm-hmm. Then, no, no stick. Okay. Um... When we found him, he didn't have the stick. It's possible he maybe lost it or took it, and it's possible this isn't your brother. Um, but that this description is pretty close, and we did pass them a little while ago, so I'm so sorry for your loss. Can, can you show me where you saw? Let me ask. We are on a bit of an urgent mission, but... Family is important too, so let me ask my friends, okay? Okay, Boulder. Okay. She turns around, takes a deep breath. Okay, so um, that the hill giant that we found is potentially his brother, and um, he's very distraught. He seems like such a sweetie, um, and he wants us to show him where it is. I know it's a ways back, but I think it's pretty important. Also consider we probably should not piss off the giant giant. Oh, if only I still had my horse so I could just take him myself and then catch up with you guys. Hmm. Hmm. We don't know what happened to your horse. But anyway, it'll get better. You can summon it back. Mm -hmm. I could actually do that. Um, We do have the ability to summon an animal potentially i could i could fall back i mean he's the one i'm talking to and i feel somewhat responsible so 
I would not mind that. If you all want to keep going on ahead. No, we shouldn't split up. Trust okay, me, I'm the only person. I, it's, leaving the group is my... And, and true. Uh, fuck, I'm not there. And, never mind. He's in... I don't think if we piss him How off, he'll be mad at us. He's... He's a sweetheart, really. How far back is the hill giant? The hill giant corpse. Like a day's travel, I think. No. Yeah, a little bit less. Like, a little bit less than a day. Yeah, because we got off the lake yesterday, like midway through the morning, and then we traveled and we slept, so we'd have to go back basically a whole day. <laughs> He's smart. He'll find it himself. I would very much like to go. I feel like this is a group vote. Okay, hang on. Boulder? <laughs> okay, then we have Grandpa back at the cart, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna talk to him really quick. You could just stay here so you don't spook our horses, because they are, they're, you know, they're animals and they can get scared of someone as big and magnificent as you. You can just- Okay, I'll just stay here eating. Okay. Don't worry, we'll be back and I'll talk to you. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go yet, but I'm sure that we'll be able to help you somehow, okay? Okay. Don't worry, we'll be back. Pat, pat. Okay, let's go talk to Grandpa. And you could just use the spell to summon something and then just have that thing guide him there and then catch up to us eventually. Hmm. I'm not sure how that works. I do, because I, I know the spell. I don't know the spell, so and I'm, but, I'll have to try. Oh, because I don't cast magic, I don't... <laughs> you cast magic, you just cast one spell. I've and that spell is smite. Multiple spells. Multiple versions of smite, sorry. I cast bless in the dragon fight. I cast heroism <laughs> on that poor boy that was terrified because of assassins. <laughs> all you, you keep talking about spell names, but all I can hear is smite. Mm-hmm. Mm Okay, so we make it back to the carriage. So and is the giant catch. planning to kill us? Absolutely not. He's looking for his brother. We think it's the corpse that we left back at the lake a little while ago. I would like to Ooh. go back and show him where it is. How much of a day's travel is that? Let's see. Let's see if I can recall how long exactly it would be. Put us about it's two days day. behind. Adam. About a day's travel. Yeah, maybe a little less. About a day's. Maybe a little less. No. It's a giant. We can point him in the right direction and he can find it. This is his area. No. We don't know how long we're under protection. So that's two against. What if he carries us? Does he move faster than us? I don't know if he can carry uh, us and the carriage and the horse. Horses. Horse. What happened to Gideon, Cal? He hit him with a rock. <laughs> oh no! This trip has been uh quite fatal for our poor furry friends. Well, now that you mention it, that like, it could be quick that way. He could just carry me, and I could go help him, and then he could carry me back. Nope. I mean, does he? There was you a goblin horde on the other side of the lake. Let's not forget that. We don't know where they're at. That was about 500 meters away from us. Thankfully, didn't seem to pay us much mind. <clears throat> but they will definitely take notice to a hill giant. And what of the creatures that are still out there that can freeze and eat a hill giant? That's a good point. I think that makes it all the more important that we go with him. What do we owe him? He killed our horse. I think that's three against. I mean, he killed my... It's not really a... But, yeah. But I'm not really mad about that. He's not feeling... He's not Cow. good. Insight that horse back. is just as real as any other horse. Just because it's given to you from your goddess, it should actually be more. Yeah, Cal's not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not He's mad. Not mad. I'm not mad. You're just not mad. <laughs> I think it's. I really think this is something good we can do. And sure, we do not owe the giant anything, but this is our chance to help somebody who's in pain right now and in grief. 
All of us are in pain and grief. I'm not. In section. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I just think y'all voted me. Oh, normally I would not mind making a tour, uh, but uh, if we are being chased by this uh, evil being that's chasing Caffriel, uh, let, let's see. Cut down three days approximately of travel by crossing the lake. Took about two days, we would come out with having only saved one day by crossing the lake. I still think it's important. That's if you don't, he doesn't ask us to help him find whatever it is that killed his brother. Have you asked him what he exactly wants from this? He just wants to find to see if it's his brother? Or is there something he's searching for? No, he seems distraught. He is looking for his brother specifically. Everything else about what he was carrying on him was all secondary used to describe him. It really does just seem that he wants his brother back. I, oh, look over at the giant. Does he look distraught or is he just like sitting on the ground chomping on whatever he's eating? He's what is like he eating drunk. anyway? Uh, you're too, you can't really tell. He's Me. eating something, but like he also looks like kind of prodding at the ground a little bit, like, like not like like a. It's like a. As I told you before, um, me, if you have the spell Fine Steed, like the one I have in the ring, you can summon the creature. Direct the creature to take him to the corpse, and then direct it to come back. That's what I did with Gideon. But, or you know, I he got hit by well, a rock. I have, uh, one thing I can do if you don't mind waiting a little bit. Um, I would need about an hour, um, uh, <laughs> if you guys don't mind waiting an hour. What is it? Uh, I could ask, uh, my god, Malduin, if, uh, this route of action something favorable to us or if it would be uh, a bad choice yes. are you doing always... augury yeah oh but that I would only need... takes 10 minutes it takes one minute but I would need to make the specially marked things that are worth 25 gold because I don't have the component for it Oh, okay. so I would have to use my channel divinity to make the items and then Unless I have a faster way of just like marking I into some metal, because for me it would probably be some form of metal component. Yeah. Why don't you just yeah. mark the metal ingots with the signal of Malduin? I mean, how long would that take? Can I do that? I, I that's the know. question. Like, would that take just as long as an hour? I'm like <laughs> making a whole set of like effectively like throwing throwing runes, like the Celtic throwing runes, but metal. I feel like that would take probably just as long by hand. As Big ass metal hand. ingots. <laughs> just that you like just, scratched the I symbol. Mean, I, could, I could do that. Like if you would allow that, Adam, I could use like. Do you rune casting my... on a? Wait, actually, I have a pouch of bones that could be used for the exact same situation. Oh, oh. she does though. I do. Uh, Mihi, uh, I was c considering making my own large ingot runes uh, to throw, but I recall you saying that. Uh, like Caffrail, you got some spooky items from a vanishing shop. Oh, yes, I have these bones that are wonderful. I've been trying to figure out what they're from. I think this one's from uh, the knuckle. Do you of, mind uh... if I use those? Hmm. Okay, just uh, be careful with them. But I also... don't know how I could use them dangerously, but sure. Oh. I'm sure I could find <laughs> a way. <laughs> if you don't think that predicting the future can be dangerous, then you have a lot to learn, Grandpa. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, is that we're so focused on what he can do for us. I mean, there's a certain element of just doing the right thing and being nice to somebody who's going through a really hard time. And I mean, worst case, he's a guy through the mountains that knows this area far better than we do. He could probably help us steer clear of the Remoras. That is a good point. If he's oh, you mean the Remoras guy? that swam underneath the water that we're now off of? I'm saying things like that, Cal. Or he could have warned us not to go across the lake because large, giant flame lizards live in there. It's just a suggestion. I still think we should just help him and do the right thing, but let's see what your god says. 
Yeah, I'm going to uh, you to spend a minute to cast Augury, uh, asking if um, uh, so. Yeah, I'll take the uh, he'll take the bones and he'll basically um, put them in the warmth of the light from the fire within his alms box, and uh, he'll say it. Uh, just think in his mind, trying to uh, speak to Malduin as, as much as he can, kind of channel his wisdom, and asking, uh, should, or, will helping this giant be a benefit in the long run and heading towards these ruins for us? Toss the dice. Or the... Well, are they runes? Are they dice? They're like bones. Bones, yeah. <clears throat> Top bones. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. throw the bones, and uh, and into the he's doing it kind of in the shadow of the flame, saying seeing kind of like how the shadows get cast um, based on their position from the box, kind of his, the way he does it. Um. So asking this question, you roll the bones, and at looking at them, you gather that it responds in... It's either wheel or woe, or wheel and I'm, woe. I'm looking at or nothing. Or nothing. Um, it responds in wheel. Oh, well, uh, from what I can tell and what I'm feeling, uh, if this is uh, guidance from the higher being that helps me, uh, it seems like we would have good outcomes when it comes to heading towards the ruin help the creature. I'm not sure what form exactly that will take, but it is good results heading to the ruin. Instead of helping the creature? If we help. Oh, if we help him. Yes. Okay, good. And so, in that case, I would like to switch my vote. I trusted Melduin for this long. You still have two more questions, right? As no, you're thinking of no, no. just one, just one question. Yeah, commu yeah, community three questions. Community three questions. Yeah. Every so time you cast harder, it gets less and less accurate too. Yeah. 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 So. Well, in a given day, it resets. Yeah. 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 And I'll pack up the bones and come back to me, and I'll go ahead and stand by me. Show well, it looks like you're the tie-breaking vote, Cathril. Ah. Uh, Unless either Cal or Olyphius, you would like to change your votes given this new information. Nope. Not particularly. Caffrey's mm -hmm. gonna look over at the two and just kind of like smile and go stand over by me, he and Grandpa. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go tell him. Um, let's turn the card around and let's go. <clears throat> Now, do you think we'll be having to leave a couple of corpses or one 20 foot corpse at the end of this endeavor? Not sure. Me, he will look at the bosom with her eyes sparkling and be like, maybe you'll see that sometimes things can turn out good if you help other people. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that has not been well, my Cal. Thanks. experience. I, I'm telling you, Maldine says it's good. I say we go. We're going. The vote is decided. I'm turning the horse around right now. Miki will hump off in the direction of Boulder to tell him the good news. All right, you walk up, and he's kind of like, at this point, he's kind of like stumbled onto like his stomach, and he's like, kind of like, looks like he's kind of making something into the snow on the ground, like he's drawing something. Okay, Boulder, we will help you. You will? Uh -huh. Yeah! Oh, you're the Hello. friend! He grabs you, like, <laughs> guy, and, like, lifts you up over to his face, like, his face, starts rubbing up against you, like, You're the best of all time! Can you imagine how prickly uh, hmm? Hill Giant face is? Oh, it's, like, super prickly. Uh, it's actually yeah. kind of, like... Like, you know, like, they're kind of, like, oily, too. Like, a little ew, bit. Ew, <laughs> ew, ew, uh. <laughs> Gaffrielle is enjoying this. Mm. <laughs> yes, 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 good. Mm. Yes, we're very excited to be helping you. Now, please put me down, please. Okay. Thank you. I'm taking everyone, right? 
yes, we're all going to go with you. We think that it's uh, better if we go with you. Um, we do have one request um, in exchange for the help, if that's all right. What is it? We're not from around here. We're travelers from far, far away. Um, we would appreciate if you could, after we help you find your brother, if you could help us get to where we are going. Okay. Excellent. Where are you going? We're headed to some ruins about a day or two travel north from here. Actually, wait, like four days, right? Four days. Uh, three days? Four. It would be three days now. Three days. We had moved in. But, to... but it, we'd head back a day, so it'd be four yeah. days. Yeah, about four days brother. from here. Four days from your brother. It's an old ruin. Is it like... Does it look like a like a like a like a like a like a brick brick thingy in yes. the mountainside? Yes. Like it's got like a hole in it. I am people used to go in that all the time. Yes. I that remember. Is where we're going. Okay, yeah, I can Yeah! Okay. I can take you there. Wonderful, but let us find your brother first. Okay. Do you want me to carry you all? Um, I am down to ride on your shoulder. I would like to do well, that. She as wouldn't well. hear that. Yeah. She would I hear can. That. I would like to. All. I can ask the others, but I think most of us will prefer to walk or drive the carriage. I move faster than horses do. I'm sure you do. However, yeah. we have to bring our horses with us, so you were gonna. I can to lift you. the thingy up. Can you lift all the horses and the carriage and all of us? I'll put, I can put the horse in my pocket. Can you see like this big like pouch like right next to him? <laughs> like, on his, like, a, it looks like it might be filled with some stuff in there. Images of the pouch that me he got the ring from flashed through her head and she cringes. <laughs> um, no, I think that is okay. Um, it's the big pocket. It it has me. He what is he offering? Inside too. I I will ask them. Um, he's offering to carry all of us. Yes, he can move faster than horses. Absolutely. Well, if he can move faster, that would save us quite yes. a bit of time. And if he doesn't crush my carriage, I have no qualms. Yes. I hate this idea. Then well, Lithius, how often do you yes. get offered to ride a giant? This is quite interesting. Caffriel's already, like, bapping on his leg, like, going, like... <laughs> <laughs> like a child oh, picking oh, me up. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh, up, 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 up. Mickey will take some scrubs on her face where, like, the oil from the hair got he on her. Just grabs, like, he grabs Caffriel. Like, not, like, rough. Like, like it's a little rough, but not like he's doing it on purpose, right? Like, yeah. it's just, like, he doesn't know his own strength. And he lifts up Caffriel, and he Woo! puts her, like, on top of his head like into the hair and it's like it's pretty greasy like <laughs> i would like to go too please I'm okay and he I like think... grabs me he and like up onto the head right next to caprio wow this is very high um mm -hmm. i think yeah we very are, i think we are okay being carried just please do not crush the carriage the little wooden thingy Make sure you're oh. very gentle with it, okay? I'll be, I'll be super careful. I'm just gonna be uh, in the carriage. Is the horse untied yeah, from the carriage? Um, let's, let's make sure. Is we the horse the untied horse. from the carriage? No, we we would untie the horse yeah, first. Okay. The horse. <laughs> I'm being in the carriage. All right, so you guys untie the horse, and he like picks up the horse, and the horse is like, like kind of like flailing a little bit, but it's like in just one hand, so it's just like, <laughs> and he's like. He puts it, he opens the pocket, and, like, he <laughs> carefully puts the horse into pocket. Man, if like, only I had prepared calm emotions this <laughs> morning. The, horse, the horse's head is, like, sticking out of, like, the hole, but it's oh kind of, like, God. Around, not, like, super tight or anything. It's you like know, when, when those, like, super white girls carry puppies in their purse. Yeah, yeah <laughs> pretty much. Oh, man. It's, it's a lot like that, but, like, on his side. Oh, but a horse. Yeah. yeah. But a horse. To be fair, if they were big enough, I'm sure they would have as many horses as they would have in their pockets. When he grabs the horse, I'll grab onto his hand and then, like, sit, sit. like, loop my arm through the belt and chill by the horse with the feed and, like, stroke its head and try and talk to it and help um, key feel. Um, animal bit. handling. Okay. <sighs> Twelve. 
24. Hey. Hey. Nice. nice. Very nice. Um, after, like, it, it's, it doesn't happen right away, mm-hmm. but, like, as, like, as this is going to happen, proceeding, it, it, he'll slowly calm down. It's like, like when they transfer tell, like, Free Willy in, <laughs> in the back of the truck. Yeah. That's what I'm picturing right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, everyone else who isn't, like, either on his head or, like, on his belt, basically. And so, basically, Grandpa and the two reptilians get inside the cart. Oh, no, I'm not getting inside the carriage. I want to be... Oh, I thought you were. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be on top of his head, too? Yeah, he's interested in seeing the sights from 25 okay. feet up. I'm going to put uh, Grumbles on someone. You can put him on me, because I was Yeah, put you. him on Grandpa, and then I'm going to be in the cart, and I'm going to be seeing through Grumbles' senses. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. So, yeah, that, so, yeah, you do that. He picks up Grandpa, like, by, by the shell, and, like, Ooh. puts him, like, right on top of his head it is greasy hair grandpa's seen greasier I mean, he grabs some <laughs> couple handfuls of hair like you know Ooh. you know how, like, like when like, when you like you, you forget to take a shower for a couple days and your hair is like it's like kind of like so it's got like super fucking greasy yeah it's like that okay all right boulder um we're going in a general that way direction Okay, and you watch as he leans over and like picks up the carriage and lifts it up like above his head. Like he oh. kind of like picks it and like picks it up like like he's holding it like this, like above his head, like this. Oh man, Olivia's got the best seat. I thought we were pretty good. I move that way now. Um, I can't see you up on my head. Can you just like? Pull my yeah. hair. We got a ratatouille to him. Oh, yep. to me. We can do that. <laughs> um, we also, the giant. Okay. Just, <laughs> so you know, I won't be able to understand you in a little while. So if you need to talk to us, just um, just do like a little finger wiggle motion at me, and I'll make sure that we can uh, speak me, again. He, okay. He's carrying the carriage. He uh, can't right. finger wiggle. Uh, can he whistle? Can you whistle? Um. No. Hmm. Hey, he can do that. Um. If he hey, needs to talk, that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he needs to talk to you, have him do that. That's not like a normal thing he does, right? I don't think so. Um. Yeah, just do that, and I will. I'll cast the spell again to make sure that we can talk. Okay. Um. Just okay, and he starts walking forward, and like he's like he takes like. Really big lumbering steps, like, like basically, like one of his step is basically like a good, like forty seconds of you guys driving, Damn, like a man. single step, like. God, how tall is he? Twenty five feet. <laughs> yeah, they're twenty five feet tall. How many stories is that? Like, can I do a? Three. Yeah, About three. Probably close to three. Yeah. So, uh, can I do a perception check just to kind of look around the surrounding area, kind of seeing? where we are now since we have like a high vantage point I'd like that sure too. I'll give myself guidance I'm too enamored by the view I am also too enamored by the view <laughs> <laughs> I got a 10 with guidance but yeah mm-hmm. so unless I get anything from that Adam I mean you see like mountains you see really you see it's it's actually quite gorgeous like because this is still quite early in the morning um, you can see like the sun is like a, has is just over the horizon a little bit. Um, you can see birds flying about you. You can see um, you, you see kind of like animals uh, fleeing. <laughs> Except um, for you one can actually, goose. Um, you can you can actually see um, on like one of the mountain ridges, like basically at where you guys are at like high, at eye level you see what looks to be um, some sort of, like, group of, like, harpies, like, on the mountainside, and they just kind of look at all of you, and they just kind of, like, glare, because, like, they're not going to do... You can just... You can just tell. They're not going to do anything with this big hulking thing with you, but, like, it's like, oh, if only... Mm. fuck, If fucking only... And you guys walk, like, big, heavy steps each every single time. And you guys are moving quite quickly. Um, You guys actually get to 
that area from before in about, I say, four hours. Wow. Okay, he should be somewhere around here. Right, he can't understand me. Um, is it possible to take a short rest on top of the giant's head? I mean, there's four it's hours. It's four so. hours, so yeah. Yeah, it's more yeah. like it's more like is it restful enough to actually count for a short rest, or are we spending after all a little time while to get used to like the bob and like the movement? Okay. Yeah. Um, so then I will cast tongues again. Okay. okay, we are very close, Boulder, and she'll like you know give him the finer directions to get to where he was. Seems yep. like to ratatouille him. Yes. <laughs> so as you ratatouille, uh, Boulder, eventually you guys make it back to the uh, the big bump in the road, basically. Okay, uh, here he is. You watch this, it kind of stops, like, maybe for him, like, a good couple steps away. And you watch as he, like, slowly and carefully Yay. puts the carriage down on the ground. Thank you, Boulder. You did a wonderful job. Could you put us down and we could maybe help clean him off? Okay. And he, like, reaches above his head and grabs all three of you at once. And you're, like, <laughs> squished up next to each other. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. And he watches you. He puts you guys down on top of the carriage. Uh, with with Olyphius in the cart, you just seeing hear clunk, clunk, clunk. this, seeing this through, uh, through Grumble's <laughs> eyes is just, hey. <laughs> Grumble's coming just in, in the hot. silence of the <laughs> cart. <laughs> I don't think um, we've all he... been so close since the first time we got to uh, got to Mulfear. He takes his um his belt off and like puts you know the horse and and cow down. Like the horse is still in the bag though, like oh. in the pocket thing. Yeah. So it's still like kind of I there. It it's up. it's a lot more calm though. Like over the over the course of four hours, like it's now calmed down quite a bit because of your work, uh, Cal. So it's it's a little jittery right now, but like it's not like panicking. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when I drove cross cross country for my move uh, with my cat, because mm -hmm. after you know an hour or so, he just decided, yeah, this is my life now, and just stopped <laughs> meowing. <laughs> I'll let him and out so he can like, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he takes a couple steps towards the big lump, and you watch as he, um, he. Starts kind of like undusting his brother. Um, you watch uh, me because you're right next to him. You watch as these gigantic tears start to form under his eyes. She'll rest and her like, hand on his foot or whatever is accessible. He goes down. To his, he goes down to his knees. Um, and you watch as he like carefully like moves his brother's head to like look at him um and you didn't quite like uncover his face like completely like kind of covered enough to see that it was kind of a humanoid um you watch as he brushes the snow off and you can see on um on the brother's face like this look of like a mixture of like anger and terror at the same time um as if like he's angry at the situation but he's he's angry at it, he's terrified, but he's also kind of accepted what's happening at the moment. Um and you hear as like the bold as I keep saying the boulder, you keep watching as Boulder like looks at as brother and all of a sudden these gigantic tears start to form like start to like drip down and splash literally right next to you. It feels as if like someone had taken like a like like, you know, those, like, wooden tubs, you know, like, the, the round ones, and had just dumped, like, water out of it, and just, She'll hug his, like, leg or something, you know? I'm so sorry. He, like, looks down, he's, like, you see, like, like the utter sadness like in this giant's face um as he begins kind of like huffing like he's like it's hard to breathe and also he's angry at the same time 
and he you watch as like, to... he picks up his arm and he smashes it down on the ground. You guys see as snow and rock and dirt literally explode off of the ground and just scatter everywhere. I'm sorry, I know it hurts so much. He was my older brother. He looked after me. I was the runt and people picked on me. And he stood up and he's gone. Adam, uh, quick yes. question. If mm. Boulder is the runt and he's 25 feet tall, how long is this bulge in the earth? I mean, it was kind of like, just kind of like, curl, like curled up as a ball. Um, so it was like pretty, yeah, and also eaten, so like parts of it were missing. Um, as from a, a diameter from the, like a ball, basically, it was probably like about 10 to 15 feet long. Even balled up. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know Boulder. I, know. I don't know if you want to ask him, but um, I've had a spell prepared, and if we find any ruins that might have knowledge about Quan, but I've prepared a spell that allows us to speak to someone who passed away. Would you oh. like to use that so we can ask? I'll offer Are there it to any him questions anyway. if he wants to know anything surrounding death? Right. I think he's a bit too distraught, but I'll definitely mention it to him, okay? Okay. Thank you, Grandpa. What an offer. And also, uh, to <clears throat> GM, do I have <clears throat> to speak to the corpse, or is, can someone else ask the question? Um, no, with me, I don't know Giant, so then it, it doesn't work. That is I'm a good pretty question. sure speak with dead like removes the language barrier, doesn't it? No, it, it only knows the languages. Huh. Up to five questions. So it says that it only. Sorry, go on. Oh, I just remember us using this spell um, a couple of sessions ago with Lord Sebastian like around there mm -hmm. right we did yeah yeah we did but i don't know did we, I who we cast it though did, did i did i cast it or did someone else i think one of no he that... had some court mages yeah but we all it. did ask him questions if that's what you're asking yeah yeah um it does say it only knows the languages it knew in life Right, but can this right? Could I, could I have the, can yeah, could I have ask. Boulder ask the question? What I was, um, like I cast it, but I allow him to have the questions. Well, besides the point, Mihi. Oh yeah, Mihi knows tongues. Language, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't really matter. No, well, that still doesn't work because I can't ask the question. Well, if she that cast was, tongues on you, it would work. That was oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, Colleen's yeah. point, though was the last time we cast this spell, the mages cast it, and we still got to ask them questions. That may have been a different version because we got five questions rather than the normal three. He just no, said speak with that as five. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is. What's the ruling? Um, sure. I, cause I, I had you guys do it before, just to say consistent, yeah. Okay. okay. Boulder. <clears throat> he was so, yeah, after a good like ten minutes of him like sobbing and kind of yeah, like she, she'll console him throughout that time and be like, you know, mm -hmm. he would want you to. He wants you to keep looking after yourself. He wants the best for you. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So after yeah. he's gotten all the cry out of his system. Yeah. After, yeah. After ten minutes, he's kind of calmed down and calm, calm down. He's still crying, but like not like like sobbing. boisterously and right. yeah. Boulder, if you would like to, we have the ability to ask him some questions. He is gone, but we can bring him back for just a little bit to answer any questions you might have if you would like to try talking to him again. 
How, how long will he be back? Only for five questions. That's not enough time. I know. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. I will go ask Grandpa to do so, okay? Okay. Grandpa, he'd like to. Sure. And uh, I'll bring out um, the, some incense from my bag, and I'll light it using the fire from my alms box. And I'll just uh, hold it in front of me and then uh, blow for it and have the smoke from the incense kind of coalesce around the body. Um, after you're finished completing the ritual, you watch as the as the like the brother, like he's still kind of like cradling him. You watch as like his chest begins to expand. <sighs> Okay, Boulder. No, not at me here. Okay, Boulder, you can go ahead. And she'll translate for the rest of these guys as mm -hmm. he asks his questions and gets answers. Um, Boulder looks over at his brother and you hear him go, Who did this to you? And the brother looks at him like in the eyes, kind of like like, there's still death in the eyes, completely. And you hear... My wolves did this. But you have stick. Why they no listen? Someone stole my stick. Who? Who stole stick? It was Puny Man. What did Puny Man look like? He had robe thingies and a mask. You have one. Do you have to go now? Yes. Sorry, I'm guessing all of that conversation was in Giant. Yeah, but me said. Yeah, it was, it was all in Giant. Okay. I can give you some time alone if you would like to, or if there's um any burial burial rites or rituals. We cover in. Dirt. Become hill like name. Okay. Would you like someone to help, or would you rather do it? Gabrielle shoots the look at Olivia. <laughs> what? What? I believe help. kids are specialty. <laughs> we can help if you would like it, but if you would rather do it yourself, if that's your custom. How would help? Magic, or if you would rather, we can do it the old-fashioned way, but it would be very, very slow without you helping. You have magic to cover in dirt? Yes, okay. we do shoot to look at Olyphius again. Fine if it gets this whole thing over with quicker. Okay. We cover in dirt. And you watch as he like his hand goes into the ground 
and he lifts up a huge chunk of dirt, and you watch as he starts placing it over the body. <laughs> I do five foot cubes. <laughs> <laughs> They're faster than any of us. They're all perfectly yeah, at least cube mine shaped. Is... <laughs> cube shaped. Yeah, exactly. Perfectly cube shaped. Like wombats. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I guess I take the allotted amount of time to help this guy bury his brother. Okay. In combination of you using magic and him being a gigantic fucking giant, mm -hmm. um, I'd say it takes you guys maybe a good half hour to cover like the body in like a nice coating of dirt. Like it's not like a thin. It's like like it builds up, and basically you can see like. The way he, cause he's also kind of like making it the way it's supposed to be with you know just moving the dirt. Um, it looks like it's a small hill. Oh, um, no. dirt, but I finally you... have the ability to do this. I'd like to cast druid craft. Okay. And make Man, a bunch of flowers. I, I've had druid craft for forever, and oh, I really? just haven't found a use to use it. She really likes flowers. Like she has like a nature skill and stuff. It's just never really come up. So she's going to use druid craft. And she's going to cover the hill in flowers. Okay. Uh, um, with with uh, mold earth, uh, I'll turn it from loose earth to actually solid. So okay. that it doesn't just get blown away with the wind. So yeah, with the combination of you guys casting druidcraft and, you know, pack, like basically making it solid, like earth, not like stone, but yeah, solid earth. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's weirdly out of place with the entire area covered in snow. And there's this, this small hill that is covered in beautiful flowers, like, you know, dandelions and, and tulips and all these different kind of flowers. Mickey's crying. You see tears streaming down. Not like streaming, streaming, but like, you know, it's little... Trickles coming down his cheek. That's Rail sings her song about the Kawanok of Sorrow. You were best brother. I miss you. And you watch as he. He goes into his like he goes over to his pouch and he kind of like digs through it a little bit, and he you watch as he pulls out what looks like to be this like tiny at least comparatively this tiny little tooth, and you watch as he kind of pushes it into the top just a little bit like doesn't like stick his whole finger and just enough to like embed it into the pill. <coughs> Goodbye. And then he looks over to you guys. I guess time to go. Take as much time as you need, Father. I wouldn't mind heading out if we have if he's done with this ceremony. I'm speaking giant. <laughs> I need walk. Okay. We can start heading north then if you would like. Yes, please. Okay. Alright, we're moving out, everyone. Okay. Watch as he, as he puts everyone back to where they were. Oh, I'm still back in the cart. <laughs> oh, I figured. I'm gonna be in this um, carriage this time, because it's even higher up. <laughs> so, like, you'll, you'll just wait, you're, 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 like, on top of the carriage from holding it up like this. I'm not in on top of it, I'm in the carriage. Oh, okay. Uh, with, <laughs> with, with the windows open. <laughs> I would like He's to already fallen off a cliff. Just he doesn't fucking, need to fall off a cliff. Right. Just cross applesauce. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 the carriage top. is higher up because he's holding it up above his head. So that means it's just yeah. Caffrey and I on the giant's head, right? 
Yeah. So, Caprio. <laughs> Quality time on the Giants <laughs> noggin. Smell. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty stinky. It's probably so rank. Um. So with him now carrying us, um, mm -hmm. you said it took four hours to get there, and that was mm -hmm. a days. Yeah. So that means it would take him sixteen hours to wow. get to the temple. So yeah, like a day and a half journey. Wow. Yeah, that cuts for quite a bit. That's not even a day. That's well, that's about yeah, twenty four hours. With travel, it's about like travel time and. He's also gonna take day breaks. Day. He can't yeah, like carry and walk he will all have day. To rest. He, yeah. You know, it'll be about a day and a half. And also, you guys—he's not gonna walk all night either. Yeah, but also, he's probably he's probably exhausted. Like you guys yeah. saw him moving off in the distance all night. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's true. Let's go. But still, once he's well rested for a day, that might be able to get there in just more day. Yeah. And if yeah. you'd like to no, camp awesome. with us tonight, you can. I... I don't want to be alone right now. You're not. We're here. Give him a little head scratch. Does he feel it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. But like your heart of hearts, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well then I guess I don't know is there anything we really need to do during this travel time I need to talk to Caffrio but I think she just froze yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah oh my god yeah. she did I didn't even notice <laughs> she's, just, she's like we want to uh, reset the server region yeah, she was I having know. trouble a little bit earlier too um, that uh, might help. Let's see. Oh, someone did already. Uh, no. Yeah, no keys. She's got to reset her net. Um. That's her back. In that case. Oh, there oh, she goes. And she's gone. Grandpa. One second. There's oh, no, there's, yes, the cameras yes. are fucked up. Oh. There's, I went to the break screen because they they can't even, like, see us. And the one-shot screen, it, she's back. Hello? Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. So, my internet keeps dropping, like, a lot. So, oh. I have to restart my computer. I'm really sorry. No I'll be on my, um... We can take our break right now. Huh? Yeah, let's just take the break right now. We can take the break now. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we'll take we'll take a break when we get everything fixed up. Ah, it's fine. It's good. We'll take a break. It's not even John. Oh really? Hmm. That's weird. I think it's because my computer's over. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. We'll be right back. Uh, we'll be gone for like maybe ten ish minutes. Um so don't go away. And we'll be back. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Should be back. Alright, alright. So, you guys travel for a good day, you know. Um, up high up in the air. Could I have? Could I have everybody make me perception checks? Okay. Give myself guidance. No, I'll give Caffrey guidance. 
She is a perceptive gal. I am. <coughs> Not bad. 20, 30, 20 for me. 12. <laughs> 13. Me, he, and Paul got dirty 20. Mm -hmm. Ty's 12. Yes, I, I um, kind of said it. It was muted. Yeah. So, no, me, uh, he, and Kyle. No, me, and Kyle, sorry. And Grandpa. Yeah. Um, you guys can see so high up in the air. Um, you guys can see what looks like to be something carved out of the mountainside. Um, good. At the pace you're going, a good half day's journey. Um, as you guys come to a stop for the night. Um, as um, we it's... stop, can I cast tongues again? Can you cast what? Tongues again? Uh, yeah. She'll cast uh, tongues again. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to finish describing real quick. <laughs> no. Bye, um, You see what looks like to be some sort of... It, it looks like to be some sort of opening. Um, it does look like it is dilapidated. Um... From what you can tell, obviously, you don't get closer to get better details, but it does look like um, it has collapsed over time a little bit, but you can still see some sort of entrance. You don't really know what exactly. Is it, like, partway up the mountainside, or is it, like, the base yeah, of the mountainside? Yeah, it's partway up the mountainside. Um, you gather pots probably why it was a little more expensive to do this, because there's no path up there. Mm. Um... If there was one, it's gone. It's, you know, been eroded through time. What do you mean by expensive? Why it was so expensive for them to go up and down was because they needed to have mm -hmm. some sort of thing to make them go up and down and all that jazz. So that is the temple that we're going for? It appears so. Okay. If the giant's direction is correct. God, what if he did take us to just a different temple? Yeah. All these temples. No, we needed the other temple. Oh, that's like a day backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's also not the correct temple. <laughs> we'll put all these temples in the <laughs> yeah, <mountain>. right. <laughs> um, on, on the journey over here, I'd like to do another channel divinity and make a um, single seeing eyeglass monocle from my iron as well worth 100 gold pieces. Okay. For the clairvoyance spell. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. I was like, <laughs> just just oh, for right, then. Just because he's just a classy motherfucker. <laughs> fucking Monopoly turtle over here. <laughs> grandpa money bags. Yeah, grandpa <laughs> money bags. Sure, yeah. You, you okay. make one. To be fair, we are pretty damn rich. <coughs> Do you need anything for the night, Boulder? I think we're going to camp here. I just need air. You've got it. We'll be inside a bubble. We'll be safe inside of, but we can hear you and see you if you need anything, okay? Okay. Will I see you? Uh, I can ask him to make it transparent tonight. I can make it transparent tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'll ask him to make it transparent tonight. Don't worry. Thank you. Of course. Does he want it to be a nightlight too? I can do that. Really? Do you want a nightlight? I can. I can decide how illuminated it is in there. Oh, cool. <laughs> you can make it like you can. You can light up. He can make the dome light up. Yes. That's so cool. I think it's really cool. Oh, look at that, Olyphius. You're impressing. All kinds of people. Yes, I'm impressing a man who cannot neither walk and breathe at the same time. I think you did quite well at that the entire way over here. He is better than simple kobold, Alex. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Easy! <laughs> yes. Look at the kitty. Fresh. Yes, but I can, I can make... Yes. I can I can make the dome whatever he needs it to be. Okay. And do you have food? 
Oh, I have food in my pocket. Okay. That isn't the horse. <laughs> and the horse is not. We got the horse out, yeah. yeah, we got yeah. <laughs> okay. I could also probably grab things off the mountain to eat. Okay, just want to make sure you're taken care of. Have a good okay. night. So, do we need anyone to keep watch tonight? Yes, or is he just... 100%. A dude in a mask <laughs> rolled up on a giant with two giant I wolves will... and stole it. I will take first watch. I'll take second uh, watch. I'll take third watch. Before all the watching and stuff happens, I'm going to go over to Olyphius. Uh, Olyphius. Yes. Um, I made this, and I hold up the fancy monocle. Um, I can use it to, uh, take a look at the ruin, at least the entrance of it, since that's all I was able to, uh, spot the walk over here, the John. Um, I, I don't know if there's anything exactly that I can, um, find, but I figured I'd take a look and let you Uh, yes. Certainly. Um, Alternatively, if... uh, if you uh, made yourself look like, say, this would be awkward, but your mother, I could perhaps buy on her. I can't do that. I switched oh, out that sworn, spell. I could have sworn you could. I switched out that spell. I'm not sure how your magic works, Olyphius. All strange to me. Doesn't come from a god. <laughs> Very weird. It's all draconic god. to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo. Oh, boo. Well, then I think I'll at least take a look at the entrance to the ruins, and maybe we'll have a little bit of a head start on uh, what might be waiting there for us. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. I shall don... The monocle over my left eye. Right eye. What side of the eye is Grandpa? We'll go with left eye. He's like casually walking past and can't. Oh, Grandpa, you look fancy. Oh, well, thank you. Um, and then he'll put his hands together, and the symbol of Malduin will appear etching on the glass of the monocle. And he will start to <laughs> cast clairvoyance. Um... Oh, wait, this might not work because it has a range of one mile. Is it within one mile? I thought mm, Claire Woods didn't have a range. A few more miles than that. Never mind! I go as far as I possibly can in a mile in that direction. <laughs> okay, so you go. And, like, you can see you can see the entrance better. Like, um, you could point out a little more detail, but not, by, not much. Um, you can see that there are what look like to be pillars that are holding up. Um, well, at least was once holding up a like kind of like uh like a like a roof like a little like you know like you know when you go to like uh like back porches how it has that like extension of the roof a little bit mm -hmm. so kind of like that it looks at these two like stone brick pillars um like they're bricked all the way around in a circle um holding yeah. up like a little bit and then it's kind of collapsed on the other side like going into the mountain um you can see some sort of like cobblestone um, on the entryway. Um, a lot of it does look eroded and um, kind of mossed over. There does seem to be a path, a clear path to go in and out. Mm -hmm. um, you gather that's probably from the um, excavation, team. excavation from before. But there's still no um, way to get up there very easily. Um, you no. do happen to see what looks like to be like pythons in the in the stone going all the way down um i'd say the temple is maybe about maybe 90 feet off the ground you know like going up the mountain okay and that cost me another 50 iron ingots to make that monocle so slowly but surely the uh Getting through it. Um, does everybody have, before we get uh, ready for go to sleep, does everybody have climbing gear? I took a look and it looks like the uh, Hikwan's uh, excavation team did in fact uh, put up some uh, pittance 
to allow for uh, climbing gear to be uh, accessible to the mountain. Um, I cannot climb. I am not that strong. I also don't have climbing Although gear. I, suppose, I, haven't... I suppose our good friend Boulder could probably take us up. Climb, I have right? an ice pick. If he is carrying us, I don't think he will have the hands to climb up a face that needs pittance. I do well, not have climbing gear. I think I might have to make some climbing gear for all of us. But I'll have to do that in the morning, because I've already used both my... <laughs> well, that'll be a job for tomorrow. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> Go into the, the dome. Alright, um... Who's taking first watch? Caffrio. Alright, Caffrio, roll me a perception. That twenty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that natural twenty, you are watching like a fucking hawk. Like you're kind of looking around. Um, you see Boulder, um, kind of like on his belly. Kind of looks looks like he's drawing something in the snow with his fingers. Um. Every once in a while, he like. To, like take his like fist and like like but it's like part of the whatever he's doing it's not like he's like pounding into it and he's kind of just fiddling around with that um but looking around you don't really see you don't really see anything um yeah uh watch i gotta see something real quick yeah, yeah everything seems Okay, the night sky is clear. You can see the stars of you actually off in the distance you see a little shooting star. Yeah, I make a way. Could you uh could you message me what the wish was? Ooh. Don't worry about it. Um also I forgot to have you do this. Grandpa, could you roll me a percentile dice? For something you did earlier. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. But all right. When? Cool. Uh, I think that was. Yeah, I think you rolled two d10s instead, so it should have been. Oh really? I thought I did percentile. No, that looks like a percentile. No, it was yeah. percentile. The both yeah. of the dice showed up ten for me, and then I added. Yeah, it's. I, don't yeah, I think know. it was just a three D model of the dice. I think. Yeah. That's weird. All right. No. Worries. Yeah, it's 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 that's how it does it. It's really weird. My bad. Next watch. Okay. Three. But yeah, other than that, watch goes by. It's fine. The beans. I wake up, cow. Hey. Poke, 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 the scythe. There are nicer ways to wake somebody up, I'm just saying. Like, this is a callback. It is a callback. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke. Please stop. Give me three poke. minutes. Poke. I sit up and I start putting on my armor. Poke, and... because there's no armor. <laughs> Caffrielle, please. <laughs> She goes to sleep. Good night, Gaffriel. Good night. Roll right. my perception check for my watch. Nineteen. Nice. You look over and you see Boulder kind of like curled up in the snow. Around. You can see, kind of like off in the distance a little bit. You you can see what looks like to be some sort of like like wolves or something. Not like gigantic, like mm -hmm. normal normal wolves. Mm -hmm. Kind of like looking around, like your camp, and kind of they kind of stop and I look, and then you can see they're kind of looking at Boulder <laughs> and you watch as they kind of yeah scurry camp. away. Yeah, 
Everything seems everything seems okay. When the allotted time is up, I will um, I will wake up Mihi, shaking her awake. Uh, good morning. And I will um, start like taking the armor off. And I will pause, um, where, like, I'll pause when I take the undershirt off that I wear in the armor to put on my, like, like a, a clean shirt. And I'll just, like, look at my, look at the scar, the burn mark on the shoulder. And I'll look at Mihi and just kind of give her a very angry look and then pour, pull the shirt on over and, uh, curl up. And the tent in between Caffrey and Grandpa. How veiled was that angry look? That was. Cal has never done anything veiled in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume that she sees it. What was that look for? You didn't have. You don't. Don't know your father. Don't know. No, your, I do not have a father. Do not have a father. I did, and I loved my father very much, and he loved me very much. He loved everybody very much. My father taught me that it is our responsibility to take care of people, and it's our responsibility to make the world a better place, and to try and be the best person I can be every day. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning when a pounding on our door happened, and it was Miara, the the girl that I saw when I was struck by lightning and she was in a panic their bond had been set was a fire um, they we don't know what happened we jumped on our horses and we rode up the road to her and we tried to get the animals out of the barn the last the oldest what was that damn horse I can't even remember the horse's name was the last mare in there and we went, me and my father went to grab it and a beam fell. And it was going to land on me but he pushed me out of the way and I... I couldn't push it off of him, I tried and I tried and I tried and he told me to go. And I left and... My mother was inconsolable. The most I've spoken to her since my father passed was in Wolthier. She didn't leave a room for a week until we buried, well, held a funeral. There was no body. There was some bones. That's when Vivine showed up and told me to come here. My village is burned to the ground. So I don't take too kindly to being told I need lessons in learning how to help people when the things that I'm trying to do are just prevent a war and maybe figure out why there's a portal for demons underneath a massive city. You can't save everybody, Mihi, no matter how fucking hard you try. But I can still try. No. I, I get out of I leave the I grab my my stuff. I'm not having this conversation with you, Mihi. Cal, wait. Nope. Good night. And I leave the tent and I go sleep in the wagon. So much for that apology. She'll take her stuff and she's gonna go camp out by Boulder tonight. Okay. Everyone's leaving Boulder's. the safety of the dome. <laughs> Boulder's asleep. Um, you hear him snoring really loudly. <laughs> It'll keep me awake. It's a good thing. Um, you only, as you go out towards Boulder, you actually kind of get a glimpse of what he's drawing in the in the snow, and you see a picture of what looks like to be two people crew like it's crudely drawn like think like 
toddler level of drawing of what looks like to be two people with smiles on their faces and like little dogs running around them. Aww. Poor Boulder. Yeah, she'll sleep near him. Not anywhere here he could like potentially roll over and crush her or anything. <laughs> but, you know. Another character. <laughs> Roll me perception. Five. A big fat five. <clears throat> you're just you're just a little too distracted thinking about A Boulder and his brother and also the conversation you had with Cal before he went to bed. Your watch seems to go by uneventful really um Caffrael. as you're dreaming and sleeping you seem to have memories memories that you don't quite remember having but it's not like they're alien to you. Hmm. You have dreams of being in class or in your teachings, I should say. You know, normally in those times you remembered not really paying too much attention, bored, kind of looking out, but you kind of, you're from the perspective of watching this from the outside. You're not yourself looking out the window. You can, you're like an outside observer watching you stare out the window as your tutor is trying to teach you all these things about history and arcane and all this other stuff. Hmm. And there's a movement. In the corner of your eye, you look, and you see nothing there. And you see on the other eye, and you look, and there's nothing there. You don't feel afraid, though. You don't feel terror in any way. You actually feel comfort, in a way. And you... Sit there, you watch the lesson, being a little more attentive than you were even half a year ago. This is really much more interesting to me. It, it definitely feels a lot more relevant <laughs> yeah. nowadays. Um, she kind of, it, does the teacher look like she notices her? No. Every once in a while you watch as she snaps like a ruler on, not your desk, but like the desk of you. And, you know, snap back from looking outside and paying attention. All right. She kind of like walks around the classroom a little bit, like, to, um, keeps paying attention, but, like, you know, walks up to the, uh, chalkboard, um, and just, you know, keeps circling and, you know, circling looking at the board you see you know the stuff that the, the teacher the tutor is writing down and then you hear Does you instinctively, sound? it sounds like someone's knocking you instinctively look towards the sound and there is now a door at the wall she walks over and uh is there any like window on the door or is it just solid. 
Solid she door. opens it. You open it and there's no one there, but you watch as your brother zips by, kind of stops, kind of looks around a little bit, and then darts off down the hall and rounds a corner. She runs doesn't, after him. It doesn't look like he's running away from something. It looks like he's running towards something. Yeah, she definitely follows him. So you follow. And you rush, and you rounds a corner, and you round a corner, and you round another corner, and you keep going. And eventually you find yourself outside, and he's running down the... running down towards the first bridge to lead towards town. And you follow. And you guys get onto the bridge, and he kind of stops in the middle. Raphael? Doesn't seem to respond. Approaches. Raphael? Reaches out to touch his shoulder. Raphael? Right through. He then all of a sudden looks at your direction. And you, go, you hear him say, And here I thought you'd be gone. I thought we were going to meet up. And before even a word escapes from your mouth, you hear something. As if it's standing right where you are. And you hear, Why, of course I can't leave you behind. We've grown so close lately. And you watch as a hand extends from out of you and grabs onto Raphael's hand and they begin to walk towards town and you see Raphael leading what looks like to be a young man about his age um, tussled red hair um, it's definitely like flaming red hair um you see he has kind of like, as he kind of looks back towards the castle, you see he's kind of got like, kind of like vaguely crooked teeth, not like horrifically crooked, you know, you can just tell it's a little bit as he's smiling, as he looks, and you can see his eyes are an emerald green color. Mm. He seems to have robes on um, and as he walks, you can hear what sounds like clicking noise. Like click, 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 click. As he's walking alongside your brother. But you can't see his legs or anything for the robes cover completely. Okay. Um... Does she recognize him at all? The boy with the red hair? Mm -mm. You've never seen this this boy in your life. Okay. <coughs> uh, she follows as long as she can. Okay. You follow them as they get into town. You watch as they go inside of a tavern. sit at a table, seem to talk about plans. Just plans to leave, plans to stay, just many different types of plans. And after a while, you watch as the, as the boy pulls out from some sort of pouch he's carrying. Seems to pull out what looks like to be a a collection of tubes strapped together. As it begins to blow into each individual one, he crafts this beautiful music. It's jaunty. It's masterfully woven together. You could just, you, even like in this state of knowing of dream, you feel yourself kind of like bobbing along with it. Mm -hmm. 
And that's when you blink your eyes and you are in the, te the, the, the dome. Light is now shining on your face. She kind of blinks a little bit and stretches and sits up, taps her chin, and thinks about all the rumors about her brother. And, uh, and she shakes grandpa. Uh, oh, uh, Gabrielle, <coughs> you're up a little early. I know, but uh, I... I was wondering if maybe you could try ascending for me? Uh, sure, just give me uh, just a moment. Uh, taking a moment of meditation I do each morning to prepare myself with the boons that Malduin provides to me. I'm picking my spells for the morning. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very good way of putting that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll grab sending, and I'll have to take some. Uh, but yes. Um, so Gabriel sure. has a scroll of pedigree. Would that include, like, I don't know exactly what that entails, but would that include some sort of, like, image of her family, or? I don't think, it wouldn't have an image. It would just basically be, like, It'd be like, you know how in Avatar The Last Airbender, like, how Toph will sometimes flash, like, this thing that has the symbol of the flying boar on it? Right. Yeah, it's kind of like um, that. Is there, uh, something I can roll to try and, like, draw what he looks like? Um... <laughs> oh, wait, no, I have the mask of, uh... Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah uh, so, she's going to use her mask... Um, to or mask of disguise self to like transform herself into what he looks like. Oh, uh, is this someone we've run into recently? I don't recognize him. This is my brother. The, are you doing the red haired one or the your brother? My brother. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought you meant you were doing the red haired guy. I mean, my brother oh. also has red hair. Oh, he does? Okay. Well, I guess he yeah, has family. I think so. Let me double check. I have a picture of him. To my knowledge, he does, from what I remember. Yeah, I think so. Um, but... I... am pretty sure that my brother is alive, <laughs> but I've been hesitant to find out. Oh, um, boy, uh, I... I gotta say, I, I definitely am not the biggest fan of uh, doing the sending spells and having to tell people that their family member or loved one is not connecting, uh, but and I am happened. always willing to give it a shot. That is mostly why I have not Looks asked. Looks over at <laughs> <laughs> That's mostly why I have not asked, because I either... I didn't want to find out if he was a traitor, if he was a traitor, or if he was, um... Traitor? Uh, well, Why do you suspect that of your own brother? There's been a lot of rumors. My brother is a very complicated person. And the predominant rumors is that he is either a traitor or that he was, you know... It, it, it's weird. So, um... Sure, sure. Uh, or that he was dead or something, something. He, he disappeared he, shortly before the attack on Kawanoff Cliffs. But, does he have the same connection to, uh, that tentacle fellow you keep talking about? That was another rumor. Oh, wow. That's, but that's... one of the rumors was that he eloped with a lad, and, um... Which was particularly scandalous because no one had any faith in me to carry on the family line. Oh, well, you know, love is love. Exactly. So, um, 
I wished on a star last night to know that he was alive and well, and I had a dream, and I just want to know if that's coincidence or something, you know. No, oh, does that work? I've seen several shooting stars. I'm going to have to start wishing on those. Well, if he responds to the sending, then... Um... Let me craft a message for you. Yes, please. Your time I'll start rousing the others and... Oh! Oh, he's gone! Oh. Now he's not crafting something! Oh. <laughs> Discord, why? You try to write a message? Gone! Uh, so it's gonna be... Uh, let me yes, make... please, Caprio, come here. Uh, um, I will communicate whatever it is you want me to send to... Um, Raphael. Uh. Raphael, this is Caprio. Are oh, do you just want to write this down? I'm writing it down. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Do... Did you elope with a red-haired... Um... <coughs> that's not a flute. It's a... Pan flute? It was an Pan ocarina, flute? I think. Oh. Oh, oh, or that. What's or it called, Adam? It's a pan yeah. flute. Okay. Pan flute. Is that one word? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's two words. I yeah, it's two it's words. Two. Yeah, it's two words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I really do know you a lot. Okay. 17, 18, 19. Great. Um, okay. So this should be exactly 25. Um, Raphael, this is Caffrio. Are you alive? Did you elope with a red-haired pan flute player? I want to know you're alive and well. Okay. Uh, all right. And he looks at the parchment. Uh, this might sound a little strange coming from someone who sounds like me, since you are saying that this is Caffrio, but, um, I can do my best to try to sound like you, if that is what you are looking for. I'm sure that he'll put two and two together. He's much smarter than I am. <laughs> well, then I will give it a shot. And I will step out of the dome if the dome is still around. Um, and I will begin to cast Sending. Uh, the little kind of cartoony looking turtle, uh, their turtle with uh, the wings and the messenger bag pops out of my alms box. And I will relay the message and send it off. Could you say the message one more time? Yes. Uh, Ra Raphael, this is Caffriel. Are you alive? Did you elope with red-haired pan flute player? I want to know you're alive and well. Uh, roll me a percentile dice. Me? Okay. Percentile dice. Here we go. Uh, 76. Okay. Not bad. So you watch as the little, and then disappear, like like normal. It's not like yeah. a you disappear. Yeah, yeah. Goes Mach five. Yeah. Zoom. <laughs> um, and like, after like after a little bit, you hear back. My my. Oh. Do you miss me already? I've only been gone for a couple weeks now. I went on, let's say, vacation. Okay, that's the entirety of what I get? Yep. Uh, Caffrell, um, I am happy to tell you that, uh, yes, it went through and I heard he, he said something back. Um, he said he was surprised that you already miss him. Uh, sounds like he is about as sassy as you are. Um, and he says he's been gone for only a couple of weeks now. Um, 
not sure when the last time you saw him was, so if that uh, checks How out. long have we been on the road? Um, About two months now. Yeah. Yeah, it's been about, like, met together, and God, this all has happened in two months. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, that checks. Right. <laughs> um, but the strange thing is, he says he's on vacation? Um, if there's all these bad rumors, I can't imagine they spawn from him simply leaving on a bit of a joyful jaunt to a scenic locale. He didn't tell anybody he was leaving. Yes, it was a surprise. And then I got kidnapped. Oh, well, that does... Which he does not know about because he left. Well, uh, I could do another <laughs> spell, but I'd rather uh, save that maybe till tonight. No, we'll save that. We'll save that. This is so... Raphael... Uh, uh, he's I fine. He's I don't. Fine. Is that good? Is that bad? I mean, what? I, I guess Raphael. I don't know your family. I'm I'm trying to put this in the lens. If would Caffrell do this? And I mean, to be honest, it seems like that's kind of imagine uh, part me. of the family. Imagine if like. My skill with a scythe was like, instead of a scythe, it was like being real good at just be being smart. And oh. that's my brother. Well, I think you're quite smart yourself, Caffrell, if not a little bit dramatic. Oh, he's so much more dramatic than me. Oh, I did not think that was possible. I was there for the uh, assassin's moment, and that was very, very dramatic. Imagine Probably. if that was actually convincing. I mean, it sure convinced that poor, terrified shopkeeper. Uh, I'm glad he's fine, but also, I'm a smack him the next time I see him. Uh, well, I don't know if I condone that, but um, you know, family stuff. Ha, uh, ha. Uh, yep. Uh, we should probably wake up the other. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Nudge, Olympias. nudge. Yes. Caffrell looks around. She's like, where the hell is Cal? Where yeah, and he's up by Boulder. Is Boulder awake? Or is he snoozing still? He's like, no, like, like, you kind of hear, like, a little, like, you kind of hear snoring, like, you know, when you're in the bubble. Like, no, you walked out of the bubble. Yeah, the I second did. you walked out of the bubble, like, because at first, like, when you're in the bubble, like. <laughs> and you walk out, and all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 Mickey waves. Oh, Caffrell has also. Shakes, shakes down trees. <laughs> yeah. Caffrell has not yet uh, gotten rid of her brother's visage and so she walks up to Cal and pokes him with <laughs> knife which looks more like a staff right oh, now me. you don't know where Cal's not I'm not in the dome I know I can't do this in the dome oh I'll, I'll roll investigation I mean, you can. oh yeah I can. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right right um I will roll investigation to find Cal you can smell cow. Yeah, you can smell cow. Yeah, I smell cow and I go. What time of the morning is it? I'd say it's probably around like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, cow's up. Oh, <laughs> armor boy hours. Yeah, armor boy hours. Real armor boy hours. But <laughs> so the the um you open the the uh the wagon as Raphael. Uh, yes. Like, finishing strapping the plate mail on. Who are you? I'm Caprielle's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? 
thought you would. I feel like if a missing brother. Sh My name's Cal. It's nice to meet you. What are your intentions with my sister? <laughs> <laughs> Can she roll deception? And I'll, like... I'll yes. roll deception. Deception and... <laughs> oh my she God. probably gets an advantage no! because of... She oh probably no. gets advantage because of oh, the... Oh, do I get advantage? Yeah, yeah the disguise. Yes. Insight. Oh, please, God. No! <laughs> I got a nine. Nice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the second, the, literally the second, like the door open, you look. You're like, "There's another fucking trick." I know it. <laughs> you can um, pretend to be my goddess, but your brother. Mm -mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will finish. I will like pull the last strap tight, and I will um, like. Pull the last strap tight, put Heaven's Fang over my back. And he's a little he's a little red in the face, and he walks up to like go past her, and he um kisses her on the cheek and walks back walks out the door. Kisses Raphael on the cheek and walks out the door. <laughs> uh she's just gonna turn into Cal, blushing mm -hmm. Cal <laughs> and be like my name's Cal. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are here. <laughs> We're almost there. Let's. I, for one, just want to get there, I guess. I fully agree. Uh, we are going to, to wake up Boulder. Well, you can wake I up Boulder wake after up. you do your channel divinity, right? You need to yes, get I climbing suppose. gear ready. Let him. He's got a. Um, Need so I guess we'll have to leave the carriage and he down here. Um, come back. We'll just tie them off, or we'll be f sure. I have a feeling Boulder might wait around for us to come out of there anyway. So, um, Adam, mm -hmm. can I do a knowledge arcana? on the description of the stick that was given to us by Boulder when he was questioning his brother. Sure. Eliphius would be pondering this, like, what would keep frickin' frost wolves in check? And I'm going to channel divinity, spending 250 iron ingots, because the uh, climbing kits are worth 25 gold each. Okay. So I'll have to do both my channel divinities for that. <clears throat> so That's a motherfucking 24. Nice. Yeah. Um, to your knowledge, it seems that this could potentially be. I mean, it sounds like a staff of command, but like, you don't usually like whack things really hard with a staff of command. <laughs> well, true, but it's also a giant. I. I would have a little bit of leeway that maybe they don't understand what a staff of command actually how it works. At least, hopefully. Uh, okay. What do I know about a staff of command? If, if, or from that knowledge check? Um, you would know that a normal staff of command would, um, brain. That's report. Um, you know, staff command is basically just, it's a staff that allows you to cast command. Like, okay, that, that's fair. No, 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 cantrip no, anyway, how but... many times? Yeah, well, can we, is command, no, command's not a cantrip, is it? No. No, no it's a first, first level spell. spell. Um, it would, it would have, like, amount of charges, basically. Okay. okay. Um, hmm. So our masked friend might be used from the description or from what little description we had on um, Boulder's brother's stick. It sounded like it was a staff of command. Now, I don't know if you have to hit someone with a staff of command. That doesn't sound right. 
but our masked assailant now has a staff that can cast command at will and two frost wolves. Um, it, not at will. It's it got charges. Sorry, I thought I was confusing it with a cantrip. It has like a certain amount of charges per day. I mean, still to a point at will. Cal like gently raise his hand as he's like as he's watching Grandpa. Um, not to. I cast other spells that smite, and I have that. Sp- I've casted command before, and the creature has to be able to understand you for that spell to work. And it also doesn't affect undead or construct creatures, as we saw with the uh, head in Lord Sebastian's. Um, so, if because me, he told us that he like would just hit them with the the frostwolves with the staff. Right? I don't know. I just know what he told me. Could be right, I know, I was just making sure that you had told us. So it's, it is just quite possible that he just beat them with the, the Staff of Command until the other guy took it and then could actually speak to animals. Because I don't know, I think people can do that. I've heard of stories of people that can do that. But, um, and then commanded them to eat him. Are you, like, fight him. Do you think he might be related to the temple somehow? Is that what you're worried about? I'm worried that we might intercept him if he is interested in magic. We might run into someone with a masked someone with two frost wolves, and that sounds terrifying. Cross that bridge when we get there. All right. Uh, my other concern is what exactly will be in the temple. We have to go. Well, underneath the temple is what we would is what Vivine told us. Yes. We'll find out when we, we get there. Like claw, are we? Yes. Uh, find. I'm just concerned with this. Creeping horror and death combined with a temple of magic that I know very little of. That sounds like a very bad combination. Yes, but if we were not prepared to face it, why did we come all this way? There is not much else we can do but go for it. It's just growing concern. Got the power of a goddess and friendship on our side. Why would you be scared, all of these? Two, a goddess, a god, a <coughs> elder tour, deities, a <coughs> book, <coughs> and friendship. We'll be fine. We've got this. Did you say friendship? For one of the sources of power? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> it's sparingly applied. I did not. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, I'll try I'm inciting that. that. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did say friendship. <laughs> uh, that's just like the last time I lied. It's debatable about the last part, but I do get the sentiment. Hmm. And I do appreciate it. We will nudge Boulder awake. And head to the mountain, to the temple. Ooh, I want to nudge Boulder awake, but like, use my uh, I'm gonna use my dis my disguise self mask to look like a mini Boulder, and then nudge him awake. Oh my gosh, her recognizing that that she has that mask is the worst thing for us. <laughs> Roll me a strength check. Oh, oh hell no. yeah, I'm good at these. You gotta stop saying that because <laughs> that's an eight. The, uh, intelligence check and eight. Uh, eight total. So you walk up to Boulder and you kind of like shove and like your hands kind of like in a little bit. You and, like push and it's like you, you, like trying to try to push and like you're not even budging anything. You're basically just like point point point. 
Yeah. I'm a yell. Boulder. <laughs> I'll cast tongues and I'll get up right next to his ear and just real gently be like, Boulder, it's time to wake up. I swear to God, that works. And while she's doing that, I'm going to thaumaturgy my voice and just go (laughs) right next to him. I can't speak his language, so I'll just make noise. (laughs) (laughs) You see. So basically how it goes is like, Boulder, it's time to wake up now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what? See me hit work! I'm what? gonna hop up and down next to him as him. Hey! It's a little me! As he goes and picks, like, picks you up. <laughs> We're all feeling a little silly this morning. Supposedly. Kinda like brings you up close to his face. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Where'd you find him? <laughs> <laughs> that's Catriel. She just looks like you right now. I should do that. That's so cool. It's like he's like literally like lifting you like above him, like you're <laughs> literally dangling there, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, me. Can can you tell him that we need to get moving? Sure, I'll get to it. Boulder, we need to go up the mountain today. Huh? We all right? I can, I'm not good at climbing. Yeah, I'm not sure that we'll need you to come with us up there, but if you could stay behind and watch our horse and cart, we'd appreciate it. Okay. What if I get hungry? You're free to go look for other things. Just don't, do not eat our horse, please. Or the cart. Okay. Or the cart. Well, I mean, I don't think that it, I mean, it looks like a turtle, but it doesn't feel like a turtle. Yeah, it's just I don't wood. Know if it would taste like one either. Nope, I can promise you it won't taste like that. It has a lot of metal bits in it that would probably hurt a lot, so you probably don't want to eat it. Or it might get stuck in my teeth. Yes, it'd be very bad. Do not That eat wouldn't it. be fun. No, not fun at all. Do not eat that, and do not eat our horse, please. Okay. Thank you, Boulder. If something attacks us, can I eat it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. How are you feeling this morning? Sad. I know. It's okay, though. You have a bunch of friends now. I know it cannot replace your brother, but we are here for you. We're friends? Of course. I'd like to be your friend, at least. Oh, oh my no, god. I... Melody has a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that the town of baseball would be happier than I <laughs> I love friends. Good. Oh my god. You Hold guys me. are so nice to me. Of course. We are officially friends. We have no idea no, what she's no, saying to me. friend. Melody is a great friend. <laughs> oh, he's stretched. Oh, Tobes. So, Boulder, would you mind taking us at least to the base of the mountain this morning? Okay. We may be in there a little while, but we have the ability to talk to you, probably, so we'll try and get some messages to you. But if you need to go... If you're in danger or if you run out of food, feel free to go, okay? But what if I don't want to go? That's fine then. You can stay, but you just need to make sure you take care of yourself. No, I'm. you said when you're done, I can leave. I don't, what if I don't want to leave? Stay with us. You can stay with us. 
I mean, we're going some. I can. We are literally to about to go into the underdark. Very dangerous. And Holy, how are we going to get a giant into the underdark? How are we going to get him into town? For us. Oh, well, I mean, that when you're done in there, I mean, like, right. he we'll have to come back. You can we come can build town. a mansion outside of town, big enough for a, a mansion, <laughs> a giant-sized mansion. We have the coin for it if we really Not want. Not for that big a mansion. We don't. Do man. I don't <laughs> think we do, man. Toys. We will talk about that when we get there, but we have he a lot more time together. Okay. The news is, is that even if we go away, we will still be friends and we will always be together in each other's hearts because but that's he what can friends stay, do. He can Blair stay, though. Out. Can you roll me? I can't understand a... anything you're saying. I know. He, he, no, you can. Because she speaks all languages. She speaks oh. all languages. It's like a babel like fish. Hmm? No, uh, what do she... you want me to roll, Adam? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, roll me a persuasion check. Oh, no, I'm not good at these. I'm okay with them. This isn't really like to persuade something. It's basically to see like how well he's understanding what you're saying. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, so like when when you're done in that little hole in the wall, I get to stay with you forever because yes. we're friends. Yes. Maybe not forever, but yes, Absolutely. we are friends forever. Yes. So Somebody stay. Forever. Yes. No. Okay. Sweet baby Friends Jesus. Forever. He watches he picks Good up me Lord and like Lord. puts him puts her on top of his head and starts like basically doing the same setup as yesterday. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Time go now. Mother, why didn't you tell me friendship would be so hard? <laughs> Ooh, he can protect your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's let's put the giant with the person that can't move. My Mouse mother is yeah, a I mean, very powerful witch. Great, you know, protection, great transportation. He, my horse is smarter than he is. Once I summon him back. so sweet. I do believe your horse might be gone, Cal. Oh, I can, bring it, I can summon him back. Uh, uh, I'm just waiting for the right time. It's a spell, oh, Grandpa. I, I cast other spells besides smite. Okay, Cal. Sure you do. <sighs> so. I'm sure that Vivian granted you many boons, and I'm sure spe casting spells is a um, mm -hmm. Wink to Lithius and me. <laughs> God, me he winks is... back. <laughs> I can only imagine this. We're this shouting at each giant... other. We're on the giant walking right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but, like... I can only imagine this giant taking care of an immobile woman who is very old from the sounds no. of it. This is this driving is Miss Daisy <laughs> with a giant <laughs> instead of Morgan Freeman. With a giant and a warlock. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Ten. Ten Grandpa out of starts passing out climbing kits to each person. Aw, yeah. They're a, a little kind of leather pouch. They've got his artisan sigil on the back. Got some uh, hooks, some basically carabiners, rope. It's all kind of. Hits aside, when the time little comes, belt. I may need some help. That's oh, well, what we're we'll here be, for. Well, they are all the kits. These uh, we can link to each other. So if one falls, the rest of the group will be able to catch them. So okay. you'll be just fine, me. I am just worried about being a burden. No, no. In any ways, you're quite light. So even if you do fall, I don't think we'll notice too. Okay. Just hold on tight. <clears throat> I disguise self into a Lithius, but green version. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yes, that actually reminds me. Grandpa, could you remove this curse? Uh, I can do that tomorrow. <laughs> I am not quite uh, prepared with that. Uh. All right. No, but yes, uh, I'll keep I'll keep a leaf in my book for that, and uh, I will prepare that tomorrow morning and uh, oh. get rid of the the blue. I'm sorry I haven't done it sooner. I wasn't sure if it was uh, bothering you uh, all that much. I disguised I... self into a Lithius with Cal physique, <laughs> green version. <laughs> oh, my oh God! God, in another world, what a Lithius would look like if he were a paladin or a fighter. 
<laughs> oh, lift <he> is. <laughs> I mean, honestly, she probably doesn't look that different. Like, doing this probably doesn't look that different from, from your brother. Like, a little bit, obviously, because it looks more like you than him, but, like... Oh, <laughs> that's all. That's a, that is not a real at physique. Least steps on a backstory crack. <laughs> it's not a real no, physique. No, that's please, they, they have change immediately. potions you can take to look like that. I that's can not make real. It blue. Do you want blue? Bitches love I, blue. I want none of that. Okay, I turn into a female Alithius. Okay, no, not that either. How about you stay away from Yuan T in general? Well, but I have a I have my sister version of you. Oh, Caffriel, Caffriel, do me next, do me next. <laughs> oh, okay. Me too, me too, me too. I also, me into... I have this potion of climbing. So if you would like that, that is something I've oh. had for a very long time. Oh, thank you. I turned to an absolutely shredded grandpa. It looks basically like a ninja turtle. Post no. jail, no. uncle. Yeah. Post yeah. jail, uncle Iro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like Jasper yeah. Roshi, but as a turtle. Yeah. Jokes on you, Caffriel. I'm already shredded. Beneath this shell, I have got eight pack. No, we all know that Shredder has to have sixteen pack. Yep. Side abs. Why did you insight? To see if he's lying about the eight pack or not. It's not a real physique. They have I don't potions need for that. deception. They, it's true. They have potions for that. That's not my real. Like Kylo Ren in the shower. It's a <laughs> fake. <laughs> they have potions. People are not willing to put in the work to look the, like a natural physique, and it annoys the shit out of me. He's always what? naturally dehydrated. So you know, just always naturally dehydrated. Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> he is a tortoise. desert turtle. Yeah, I know. He's, he's just always at his peak uh, yeah. toned cutness. Yeah, just do oh, some push ups yeah. real quick, and the pump is gorgeous, and it's not fair. Yep. I put the uh, potion okay. of climbing, Tara, in the party. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing it. Do I remember that was a thing? Yeah. We get to the mountain. <laughs> Hopefully, unless uh, something happens. As Caffrail's going through every form and function of person, person. essentially. Yep. Here's Grandpa as a bard. Here's Grandpa as a warlock. Oh, don't like that one. Hey! <laughs> Reminds me if I was a book. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, he has a book. It's just still the same me. <laughs> Can we please close this chapter of jokes. Nope. Oh. No. Oh, this never. is a never ending story of jokes. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. I don't want to censor any of this. <laughs> we climb! Alright, so you eventually guys get there. <clears throat> I need you guys to roll me uh, strength checks. Okay. What does the potion of climbing do? Uh, Can I uh, supplement you athletics? Do climbing speed equal to your walking speed for an hour. You have advantage on uh, athletics checks. You make a climb. Cool. And yeah. yeah, that's about it. You can do it. You can do athletics instead. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Athletics. I would instead. like yeah. to drink that. You should probably just still tie yourself off to be safe. Yeah, and then the climbing kit, um, it makes it so that no one can fall uh, more than 25 feet from the point where we anchor ourselves. And since I already have the pittons in there, it's kind of assumed we, you know, go up the same <coughs> kind of path they took. Um. And we're so, still yeah. going to explain to Boulder, like, hey, stay here. We'll be back in a little while. If we can't get back before Sunfall, we'll send you a message if we can. Yeah. So many spell slots. And uh, do we get advantage with the climbing kits, Adam, or no? I think they just make it so we can't fall. Yeah, I think it just means you can't fall more than yeah. 20 feet. Okay. Oh, I'll give my Natural 20 for Cal. I'm going to give myself nice. guidance. And we can use athletics. And Ooh, stuff. that's not good. Yeah, athletics, athletics or acrobatics? Athletic. Athletics. But I got a total of nine athletics. with my guidance. Woo! Ooh. I'm still good at athletics. Hey, 17! Natural 20 oh! for Caffrey Ellis! Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Both of us rolled a natural 20. Shit! Amazing. What are the odds? Hey. Very low. Yeah. 
Amazing. Wow, I actually did pretty well. Yeah, I did the lowest. I got a In nine. Infernal, I say idiot. Yeah. <laughs> In Infernal, Fuck. be nice, you two. Caffrielle and Cal are basically just racing up the side of the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Like Kakashi to and yeah, Guy Sensei yeah, like, running like, through guys, Hidden like, Leaf Village. Going. Like, there's a couple different, like, it's not like just one single um, line, it's like a couple mm -hmm. lines. It basically, like, like, they're going. It's actually kind of like dragging fucking, like, Miki and Grandpa, like, up the fucking mountain. Hey, that's fine. I'll <laughs> go up that way. More than happy to allow someone else to do that. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, like me, he's kind of like, kind of vaguely keeping up a little bit. Like, she kind of stumbles a bit, but nothing bad happens. Olympia's is basically just kind of like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I can't compete. Caffriel's like, these cliffs aren't wet, so this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this um, before, and so I'm just a natural. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa, as like as the, you're being dragged out, like boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> slow down a little. Oh, oh, slow down. <laughs> being like yanked as he's trying to. Yeah, was yanked, climb. bashing against the wall every once in a while. Uh, 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 curl up into your into your shell. Yeah, into I'm gonna mouth. use my shell uh, ability. Shell the, uh, yeah, shell defense. Do you want to roll? She just crosses her arms and like until those two finally get over their feelings for each other, we're all gonna die. Mm -hmm. They just can't work it out. Colleen, Colleen, you want to roll an initiative check to see who makes it up the mountain first? Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Since we both rolled a natural twenty, so what? There's no. We have to check who's just a bit faster. I mean, you guys could make it to the top at the same time. Nope. There are no. Nope. Photo finishes. Nope. <laughs> roll me. Okay, so this won't be another strength. This will be basically roll me a a flat dexterity check. Okay. Because you were both strong enough to do it, but who's fast and like faster? Drum roll, please. Please, <laughs> sweet <laughs> Ethan. Oh, 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 no, it's <laughs> close. oh, 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 Cal got a nine. Twelve time, uh, cliff sprinter. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like Kafra, like Cal, like you can like kind of look, and you're both kind, of, you're both even, and you start like, okay, I focus. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going up, 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 and you get to the top. And as you get up, she's already kind of sitting there, like crisscross applesauce, like pulling one of the other people up. <laughs> so she's she's definitely like out of breath though. This isn't like a how oh, it took you so long. It's like. What? What took you so long? <laughs> like you get, you get the impression she beat you, fucking just barely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. She holds like, out her hand yeah. to pull you up. If you fucking toss me down the side of my, I, I take her hand. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls you up. Okay. Oh my god, just kiss already. Long live the kiss. Yeah, long. <laughs> well, that's, we're tied off from Titan. <laughs> we are tied off, yeah. <laughs> Cut the rope. Bye. <laughs> With a dagger soul stealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choosing this as the favor. <laughs> Witnessed. Witnessed. I saw that exchange. Yep. <laughs> Can one of you pull us up, please? We're not as Ooh, strong. how about we do it together so I give you advantage? Okay. Because we're can, doing it together. We can work together for once in our lives. <laughs> Besides just mutually killing things at advantage. Yeah. Ironically, Mihi should be the fastest up because she has climbing speed equal to her walking yeah. speed. Nope. Oh, did you drink it? Yeah, did. she did. Oh, okay. 23. To... Help everybody out. I mean, it's Caffrell and... She's in the yeah, back. Cal's Great the lax, yeah. <clears throat> I don't well, know I'm... if I should be thanking Pizakili here because I'm very far away from River. But thank Pizakili. I, for one, I feel great. Was that was a good morning experience? workout. Let's uh, get on time. maybe next time we should uh, work as a whole unit rather than rushing up the top. I mean, we we pulled you we, up. We I worked together as a team to get. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, bring my arms up and they're like have like cuts and stuff from the rocks. Sure, 
Grab, sure. What you slip for, Grandpa? You're tied yeah. off. I can't. Do it. <laughs> Why did you just go in your shell? If you fell, you should have just told us, and we would have caught you. We like could have stopped. And Don't think for you. you two can hear me when your heads are far up your asses. <laughs> has Grandpa cursed? Has he cursed before? <laughs> right. Oh, Grandpa no. cursed more. No, towards <laughs> us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he writes his pack and he continues on towards the ruins. Did he not have his coffee Dis this morning? Disguise self as grandpa. <laughs> 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 ah, he nods approvingly at grandpa. What do we see when we get up? Yeah, when we get up. So, inside, so when you finally get up and actually start looking at your surroundings, um, this looks like it is kind of dilapidated. Um, you can tell, like I was explaining, you can see the these brick um, pillars kind of leading up, kind of like leading down, um, but there's really only pillars left. Um, you can tell by the rocks, well, rocks and debris around that this probably was some sort of like awning type thing made out of stone that goes into this hole um a lot of this has been scratched scraped um over the years this wasn't anything recent um and you can see what looks like to be some sort of like carvings but they're too destroyed and eroded to really make out anything um as you go in to the temple As we walk into yes, the temple, I would like to cast Divine Sense, Fey, Fiend, Undead, Consecration, Desecration. 60 I feet. would like to smell. Okay. Um, you <coughs> sense... So, Cal, you sense... You sense desecration as you walk into the temple. This, this temple... Is appears to be completely desecrated all around you. Um, there does seem to be... You can sense it. It's only 60 feet, if that matters. Yep. Okay, cool. You can sense a small glimmer of consecration. It seems to be further in. Okay. <clears throat> I will wait to tell everybody this after you talk to Colleen and finish describing what we see. Okay. Um, you don't sense any. Yep. But that's you, that's. You don't smell any fiend, fiendish presence. Anything along those lines. Okay. Um, you can look all you look all around, and you can see what looks like to be like some sort of like there are some leftover stuff from an expedition. Um, you can see some tables that were left behind, um, some papers, maybe some tools, but nothing more valuable or anything. Um, you see paintings on the wall, like beautiful paintings. Well, at least what once was beautiful paintings. Um, it seems that the paintings on the wall, like the actual painted on stone wall, seem to be um, scratched, destroyed. It looks deliberately. Um, as if something came through and just tore this place up. And it doesn't look... This doesn't. This consecration doesn't look new. It looks ancient. There are spider webs and dust clinging to the walls um, over some paintings. Do you have any idea what... Juan is looking for here, Lucius, and clue where we might find him. Well, uh, he wouldn't be here. He... This. He came to this temple about a year or so ago. That's what the research was about, and then he came back. I will clear my throat. <clears throat> um, so. Do we want the good news first, or do we want the bad news first? Let's go with bad news. The bad news, this entire place is fucked. 
I can sense it. It's been desecrated. Um, good news. I guess not the entire place is fucked. The good news, there is a... I am getting a sense of consecration further into the temple. Because I have magic besides smite that allows me to sense these things. That doesn't sound right. Um, can I grab the papers that you talked about? Just give them a quick glance, see if there's any... Um, hints, clues, are they talking about things that they found? Like, just what do they say? Um, some of them <clears throat> seem to be like, some of them seem to be blank. Like, as if they were, like, papers that were going to be used. Right. Um, some of them seem to have, like, some sort of talks about that, like, this can't be this can't be all. Like, some sort of, like, maps, like, small, tiny maps of the room, of, like, of uh, branching rooms. Um, the temple doesn't seem, from these maps, the temple doesn't seem that big. Um, and you also find a piece of paper that seems to be crumpled up a little bit, and you open it, it's kind of scribbled all around. You could make a couple words out. Um, like, I mean couple as in, like, three or four. Like, you can't really make out much. It seems like they scribbled, like, stuff out, like, out of frustration. Hmm. So it looks like they hit a bit of a dead end with this. What I was told about why Hikuan came here in the first place was that this is a temple to dedicated to uh, a goddess of magic, though it had iconography that was <clears throat> related to the reptilian nations while that should it be that's what it caused the inquiry um it shouldn't be as in it shouldn't be in this location or yes this being well mammalian nation. on one um yes where the mammalian nations are uh, there shouldn't be any form of reptilian iconography, essentially. What's iconography? Hmm? What's iconography? Depictions, uh, paintings, pictures. Thank you. Yes. Um, is there you anything knew what that like... Was, that was <laughs> um, I know you said that, like, most of it's destroyed. Is there enough to, like, try and get a sense, like, with a religion check of the paintings and the frescoes on the wall or anything, or no? You can try. It's gonna be a very high DC. Lithius, can you help me? I can't do anything when it comes to religion. I can. I can help you, me. Okay. I have history! And I'll give you guidance as well. Great. Um, if you want to roll a history check, you can. Again, the DC will be very, very high. That's okay. I roll history. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 21! 18 for me. Try history. <coughs> 8. <laughs> yeah, Frail's very smart now. Mm -hmm. You guys don't... You guys can't really tell. Like, this place is so destroyed that it's... You, you can't really leave enough off of it. Um, Maybe deeper in, it's less destroyed. Um, Kafra, you do seem to find a couple, like, what looks like to be draconic heads in what was once probably murals or a masterpiece of some sort, but again, most of us destroyed, you kind of you barely make it out, like but you can't, you don't really know anything. The, the most you know is, like dragons existed before the Catasandra, but they were excruciatingly rare. Hmm. Like, this, it was not like a common occurrence. Maybe someone saw a dragon once every couple hundred years. Is that so on the mammalian side or on the reptilian side? On the mammalian side. Well, okay. Caffrell is a mammal, so... <laughs> I know, I, I just so, wanted to make sure. What about, yeah. about the white one we saw? This is, is that... post Catasandra. Yeah. I know, but is, he said pre Catasandra, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know that maybe a dragon was seen every couple hundred years before the Catasandra happened. Is what oh, I'm so are they more common now? They're much more common now. Oh, not okay. like it's not like you you know walk outside and see flights of dragons, but like you know, 
Okay. People at least see a few of them a year as opposed to like once every 200. I will, I'm tracking. As everybody's like looking over these murals and stuff, um, Cal will walk up and kind of like look over Mihi's shoulder, look over Caffrey's shoulder and kind of like shrug and I'll walk into the middle of the room Smite. and I will take out a, <laughs> I will take out my sword and a crack, of, a crack of lightning and I'll like kind of kneel down to pray and say a soft prayer underneath um underneath my breath and an arc of lightning will go up the sword up my arm and when it hits the holy symbol instead of um lightning coming out a growth of fog extends out in a 30 foot radius and it um, starts at my feet, but it, um, and it stays low to the ground, and it starts to swirl and come up off the ground in a very dark color because the, um, ground is, this ground is desecrated, and I will cast Detect Evil and Good. Um. <laughs> Morality Smite. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yes. We need to rename all of his smells variations to Smite. Perfect. <laughs> Fuck, damn it! I was typing in, I was type. I was trying to type in, um, Detect, detect Evil and Good, and I typed out Rename, because I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's basically <laughs> consecration, it's a concentration version of Lay on Hands, and I can sense, um, Desecration and Consecration. Oh shit! I'm looking at the items, not the spell. Okay, how long is the consecration? Con Ten minutes. Concentration. Ten minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. You don't sense anything else other than. Yep. But I, I figure since I know there's consecration inside, or there's consecration inside, I figured I can get it up and maybe it will detect it. If I don't, it's. I'm trying to be useful. I know. I, I know. This is, yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, that's what you see in this room. There's, there it seems to be two other hallways, but... I uh, was the, was the consecration I sensed directly ahead of us, or did, I, did it give me a sense of which hallway I should go down? It's kind of like to the, like, to a diagonal right, if you're looking from the entrance, like a diagonal right. Then, uh, the consecration was to the right, so maybe we should, um, follow that hallway. Actually. I feel like going deeper is a good option. As me, he said, we'll probably run into less destroyed murals. Haven't done this before, but I think it will last for about 10 minutes. The fog is just like floating around. Hmm? We came all this way for you, Olyphius. What are you hoping to find here? Or get out of this? Can we ask these questions as we walk down the right hallway, please? Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, answers. He said it would be something of interest about me and my issues with magic. So, some form of answers as to why, maybe some way to guard it, guard myself <clears throat> from it. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So, so we're as you guys, down the right. <laughs> yeah. So as you guys are walking down the hallway, you see basically more. Like you see, like iconography that is, that was once carved into the wall, smashed, destroyed. Like you can make out bits and pieces, but not enough to even make out a semblance of a story. And then you get to the end of the end of the hallway, and there's a a wall. Does, um. What does divine favor tell me? So, the, so as you're looking around, you see this wall, and you're confused. Like you, you sense, you sense it. It's it's here, like at mm -hmm. this wall. And as you're looking around, Cal, you know, you kind of look at your fog. And you notice that little bits of it are seem to be seeping under the wall. Um, as if it's searching out this consecration. Secret door. Look for a button. Maybe it's an illusion and I'll just walk straight into the wall. 
As you oh. walk into the wall, Caffrail just dies. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, boom. It's an illusion. We've uh, seen this you, before. As you walk to the wall, you're like, this is easy. Your face oh. smacks right into the wall. <laughs> Not an illusion. Not the cultists. I feel okay, they... Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Well, at least it's not related to the cultists. As you look around, you notice... Um, uh, Caffrell would notice this. Caffrell, you kind of look around, you notice something up at the top of the wall, kind of like it's edging the ceiling. You can make out some semblance of writing, but it's covered in dust and cobwebs. You can't really make it out. How high up is it? About 15 feet high. Eat. Crumples at it. I mean, I have... Hi. Dark vision. <laughs> it's too covered in cobwebs. Should oh. I roll something, or...? Hang on. What's the range of prestidigitation? Mm hmm. Um, range of prestidig. Damn it! It's ten feet. Yeah, eat. Uh, I lift Olyphius up onto my shoulders. Yeah, I. I mean, you do have them, someone who drank a potion of climbing, and it hasn't been an hour yet. Oh, that's true. I look we at me here. Yeet the book at, at it. Hello. I would like to yeet me here. I would. I will climb myself. I will not be. So twenty seven to eat me. Eat. <laughs> he just picks you up and kind of chucks you at the wall. <laughs> oh, you like smack against the wall and you like. I'll you smear against it with my face as I'm on the way down as I clean it. Yeet me. Yeet me. Yeet me. All the way up. He throws you like ten feet up, so yeah. like you're on the wall. I will turn around and glare daggers at Cal, and then I will. Just clinging to the wall like Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I'll clean it. So you climb up the walls and you kind of spread it about. Um, it's not in. It is not in common. That's okay. I can read every writing. I mean, you could have read this naturally anyway. It's in celestial. Neat. I will what send you what it says. Oh boy, secret secrets. Besides, we also know that the, the true sign of the cult is if there were mimics around, not just illusionary doors. Mimics and titties. That's the sign of the cult. Mm -hmm. Every place yep. we've been. And opulence. Okay. This place is not opulent. I can read it now. Mm -hmm. When time has gone and visions go, you cannot bend this. It will not bow. Great intellect will be your guide. Many dangers are inside. Those who worship, which gives us power shall be welcome inside this tower. Can you come then, chat? Yeah. Okay, so it was a tower. A steel? Amazing that it was a tower. Uh, in the... Maybe it goes down. Maybe it's a tower in the mountain. Oh, perhaps. Maybe the mountain and came up around Vivian the tower. Vivian did say that it was what? We would find... The answer's under the radio. Oh my god. <laughs> I think... It says those who worship shall be welcome in this tower. Olyphius, is this god or goddess of magic someone that you worship? I... I mean... I don't personally worship any god. Well, he just I mean, thanked a god for getting us up to the top of this. That's cliff. a familial thing. That's more of a I was raised to give praise, but I don't like get power from worshiping. No, but you still are a worshiper. You don't need to get draw your magic from them like Grandpa does. Yes. No, Pisikili is a goddess of the river. But is Pisikili the only one, or do you worship the Pantheon? Yes, you could say a Pantheon. Is this um, god or goddess a part of the Pantheon? Adam? Um, there is no god of magic in the yuan T Pantheon. Um, as you would know, they, their gods are more akin to, like, 
the river, um, that which the river gives life to. Also, you know, there's the gods of um, vengeance. And... Vengeance. <laughs> hmm. Plus, um... I don't remember. At least I don't remember a god of magic. I am. I could be wrong, but I, gen I genuinely do not remember this. Uh, it's a good thing I have the UNT uh, document right here. I feel yeah, like I'm it's literally on my way there right now. <laughs> I you a situation precisely like this one. Uh, also, correct me if I'm wrong, Olyphius. I'm myself not familiar with reptilian pantheons, but uh, wouldn't they write something like this in Conic Celestial? Celestial, they would probably more write it in Draconic. So that seems kind of odd. Is it Are there any other Do you think it's asking about that? time? Inevitability? It, it sounds like they're asking... Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about that. Those who worship what gives us power shall be welcome in this tower. Magic? Maybe. Um, can I go up to the wall and... <clears throat> I don't know. Expend no, a if it's spell magic, plot. the I'm what? gonna be so upset. No, keep going. Go, do what you're doing. Can I go up to the wall and expend a spell slot into the wall or something? Um, what level? Let's say two. two. So you you <laughs> go up to it and kind of like searching a little bit. Um. You eventually find, kind of like rubbing your hands along, you find a small divot, hardly noticeable. You you can't even see it. You literally put your hand on it. Your hand kind of goes in just touch, and it seems to be somewhat hand-shaped when you're feeling around, as if, like, as if it was kind of scraped, like, the uppermost layer of this brick. And you feel your hand go in. And as you expend a second level slot, you feel the magic drain from inside of you. And it goes into the swirl. And you guys see as the bricks begin to glow very subtly. A, a white that's almost a blue. And you see very faintly in the middle of this wall a symbol that looks like a circle surrounded by swirls. And each swirl has a tiny little circle on top of it. Do I recognize the symbol? <clears throat> Roll me religion. Hell yeah, can I get some assistance there, Grandpa? Yeah. Can I roll religion as well? I'll give you guidance sure. as well. Again, this is a very high DC, by the way. That's a natural one. 29. Ooh. Mihi. He got good religion. You vaguely remember... about reading a story a few years ago just happened to be something in one of the books your mom had. It told a tale about the ancient goddess of magic. One that was worshipped well before the celestial war. She gave power to those who worshipped her, and even to those that she deemed worthy. Those who can grip the arcane from the air itself and bend it to their will and use as they saw fit. You also remember that this goddess whose name has been lost to time, was not on the side of mortals in the war. 
you also remember that this goddess was killed by those who worshipped her and those that she had seen fit. She'll relay this to the group with as much dramatic pausing and as intense as Adam's tone was. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. Her people turned on her. Did the walls just... The wall just glowed? Very faintly. It wasn't, like, super bright. It was, like... It was, like... How do I put it? It's, like... You know when you're, like... It's gonna be a really weird description. You know how, like, when you're in a dark building and the exit light is shining? Yeah. But you're around the corner and you can faintly see that glow? That's how much it's glowing. Maybe it needs more power. I can try expending more, but... I could too, since I recover a little quicker, but I'm not sure how it would react to my magic. We know it reacts positively to yours. I mean, magic is magic. But there's magic, and then there's magic. Regardless, if you want to give it a shot, you can. (laughs) I think somebody has to. How long has it been? Like time since... Wise? Since I cast Detect Evil yeah. and Good. Oh, maybe a couple minutes. Okay, cool. If you don't do it, I'm just going to hit it very hard. I will go up and I will dump a spell slot into it. What level is your spell slot again? It has to be four. Okay. That was so my last you... one. As you walk up and put your hand um, on the wall, in just kind of like a spot, Alypheus guides your hand over, and you feel it too. Again, so subtle that you would not have known if you hadn't had touched it. And as you expend a fourth level spell slot, you watch as the wall glows even brighter, as if like you're staring at a source of light. Not too bright to blind you, but bright enough to make you wince a little. And all of a sudden you hear (laughs) as the wall begins to rise up. As it opens up, a gust of wind blows out and you smell what up to smells like just expired air. Old and ancient as if this area has not seen a living person for thousands upon thousands of years. I think we've already somehow made more progress than the entire expedition did in their whole time studying. I'm going to write down that symbol uh, in in my journal. Inside, past the wall, you see what looks like to be Runes aglow of this same white bluish light. Runes or runes? Runes. Runes. Okay, cool. As they line the wall and go maybe 10 feet forward and then make a sharp left turn. The walls and floors seem to be covered in dust. And you can see what looks like these paintings and iconography. Old, covered in dust, but fully intact. And that is where we will end today's session. Man, that research commission was shit. So I hope everybody... Has a wonderful rest of your day. I have to get ready to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see y'all in two weeks. Woo-hoo. And remember, we love you all very much. <laughs>